Keith, we return. We're back. We're back, Keith. We're holy. We're Roman. We're holy Roman. We're holy Roman. By which we mean to say we are utterly Roman. Um, that's not true. Uh, uh, it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> My ancestors are from from uh well from well from right now they're from uh this bit here labeled England, but we know how that goes. Would you like to hear the scam of the Carberries? The apps. So this is this oh, tore my shit. family apart. Re, re, this yeah. is so funny. Oh shit! Our wife's pregnant. Um, yes. Are you going to accidentally dox yourself? No. Okay. I'm not going to let you any. I'm not going to tell anyone anything that they couldn't have figured out, knowing that my last name is Carberry. Okay. Pretty, okay. sure, pretty sure. Okay, okay, sounds good. And we can, we can always edit this in post if Keith accidentally doxes himself. Well, my family's one of those families in on the East Coast of the U.S. that is, like, very much into their own Irish heritage. Right, right, right. Um, big into being Irish. And it is true that the Carberries came from Ireland. Uh, my grandparents' parents, um, on both sides of my family... Uh, but the thing that we learned about the Carberries is that the reason that the Carberries were in Ireland is because they were British colonizers <laughs> that had set up a basically a fucking like a prison county. What? Oh yes. my god! There is there is. <laughs> I couldn't be. <laughs> Oh this is my the, god! Uh, this is the the uh, my my grandfather uh, controlled all the eggs egg manufacturing in China, right? That tweet. That yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, god, it was so. Yeah, they had no idea. They had no idea because my you know my my grandparents grew up orphans basically, um, and didn't know any of their family. They just knew that they were from Ireland and the, called the Carberries. And uh, but yeah, turns out that uh, like. 300 years ago they were sort of british oppressors sort of lording over i mean ain't that the uh, way peasants. right like i feel like yeah. this is the story of so much uh settler colonial genealogical projects right is like laundering yeah. laundering out their lineage through the process right. of of genealogy of being like oh we're from ireland or whatever oh, yeah man. yeah there is i i i am i love crusader kings so much I have never been a genealogy person for myself no. or for my own no. family. I can understand the value of it for other people. I'm sure that um, that there are motivating factors. Um, and I can definitely understand the value of it if you come from like a, a displaced or colonized people. Um, but it, it, it holds no interest to me. I'll, I'll put it this way. I'm very excited to know what my grandparents were like when they were my age or whatever. Well, we're kind of beyond there. I'm like... <laughs> My grandparents, they had, they had, they had some, um, you know, they had some w amount of rightfully claiming that they're displaced and colonized being from Ireland and then being orphans in America at a young oh, age. Yeah, totally. And, but no, it was totally, they were totally wrong. They weren't at all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't so know what funny. happened in those, in those, uh, in the, the between, you know, two or 300 years. Um, uh, but, uh, at some point the Carberries probably had like a castle or something. Sure. Right, 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 right. Absolutely. And were essentially like robber barons in the... Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Keith, I don't mean to cast dispersions on your family, but they were probably robber barons. <laughs> I don't mind. They were probably robber barons. Um, okay. We're back to Crusader Kings, a game of... My game's frozen. We're back to Crusader Kings, a game of staggering complexity and detail, and Keith and I have chosen to, um, I, I think, in only what can only be described as a cruel joke by God, um, <laughs> focus this uh, sort of pseudo LP on the Holy Roman Empire. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Now you might you might look a place at neither of us have ever been in. Well, it's not it doesn't exist to go to, but we haven't been here in Crusader Kings. No, uh, have I been anywhere here? So this is currently Germany. I have never been to Germany. Well, it's currently a bunch of different countries. Uh, right. I have never been to. I've been to Florence, which is down here somewhere. Yeah, yeah it's here. Uh, yeah. 
but if you are not familiar with Crusader Kings, it cannot be overstated the extent to which Keith and I have sort of willingly given us a headache. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it's worth saying, like, look at the Byzantian Empire. Oh, sorry, the Byzantine Empire. Byzantine Empire, for example. Obviously, this is broken up in its own way, but there's a there's an emperor on top of it. Meanwhile, look at this fucking mess over here. All these, you know, yeah, um, yeah. It's a it is a it is a federation in the way that the Byzantine Empire is sort of like a true empire. Yes, absolutely. Um, so Keith and I, and are, being being federated is like a big mess. It doesn't help them. Hist- if well, you remember them. World War One, <laughs> the Holy Roman Empire is a little bit like living in the immediate pre World War One era. Oh my God! Europe. Yeah, I years and years and years ago, as part of my high school um, history class, I did a whole module on uh, 18th century um, sort of Prussia, um, sort of this area here, and like you yeah. know, you mentioned pre World War One, but even in the like. Even further pre than that, post what we would consider now to be the the HRE, but pre um, uh, World War One, they were in a fucking mess. Um, right. Well, they had just gotten off a big mess of a war only forty years earlier, thirty years earlier. Um, I'm blanking on the I'm blanking on the name of the war. Was it the Hundred Years one. War? Was it the Franco Prussian no, War? No, no, no. Smaller than that. Smaller than that. Was it the um, Fifty Years War? I'm gonna do this like on Price is Right. Was it the Forty Years War? Thirty, twenty, ten. Uh, was it the Croatian War? No, I'm not familiar. No, with no, no, the... no, 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 no. Uh, guy, there's no way. There's just been too many wars over there. There have been too many wars. I think that, I don't think that's controversial. Uh, it's the war. It's the war that is the war of the Charge of the Light Brigade. What the? Which one is that? Oh, uh, the Franco-Prussian War. Mm, Crimean, the Crimean War. There you go. A taps head. Why is yeah. the Crimean? <laughs> How's our audio chat? Um, I'm keeping the game pretty low because Crusader Kings mixes itself extremely weirdly. Um, but how's Keith and my levels? I think we probably should be fine before we. Pop I, yeah, we probably into should be fine. This. It was it was it was pretty good um, in the uh, the vod of the last one. I haven't changed anything. Oh man! If there's one thing I know about audio, though, you can. And I know this a lot from live instruments. You can do ex- what you think to be exactly the same recording conditions. Yes. And produce a completely different output. I'll say this. If there's one thing that I know, it's that you can't trust the chat when they say it's fine. <laughs> Look, chat. I'm sorry, chat, but you were, you're, an, you're, not, you're an amalgamation. You, you're, you can't have a correct opinion, really. <laughs> Keith is just out here. Um... Uh, is there anything else I wanted to say before I begin? I don't think so. Let's do a quick recap. We are living in... Uh, we, we chose basically a, a tiny little area uh, here, caught between Upper Lorraine and Corinthia, sort of sw- Swabia. Oh, it's winter. Everything's snowy. We are playing... No, I would have liked it if you'd given me the man. Thank you. Uh, Count Gerhard II of Strasbourg. Uh, we one are of the many Gerhards of the area. One of the many area Gerhards. <laughs> we are... Gary Erhards. G- G- uh... Yep. Yep. Uh, we yep. are arrogant. <laughs> uh, and we have found that this has sort of uh, low-key stabbed us in the back a few times in really funny ways. Uh, when we were like... <laughs> We were at a tournament, which we'll talk about in a second. We were constantly prevented from, like, delegating things because our arrogance meant that we'd get really stressed if we let other people do it. Very funny. Right, we also, like, were presented the opportunity to learn something by admitting we were wrong, but not being able to do that. And we No, we could, we could not do that. Um, we are patient, which is very interesting. We are lustful. This has also given us some problems, and we'll get to those in a moment. Um, we are a charismatic negotiator. We are rakish. Uh, these two, lustful and rakish, I would say, have been the source of the worms problem. Uh, because we have the lover's pox, and we did, unfortunately, pass the lover's pox on to our wife, Countess Natalia of Strasbourg. She doesn't soup. Oh, she also has an unknown plant rash. I can I tell you that that, that <laughs> can I tell you that the worms problem being a, a pun is maybe only possible in Crusader Kings? <laughs> say, say more about that. Uh 
Well, I, you know, it's worms because of <laughs> <laughs> the place. And it's worms because of the, uh, you know, bacteria and the horrible <laughs> virus that we've contracted. <laughs> This is all an extremely Crusader King's problem. Uh, and then we are also a Hasteluda, which uh, is sort of like a... Crusader King's is really good at this. It has, like, various cultural names for various sort of um, universal ideas. So this, for example, is a character who has participated in martial games, which in the Holy Roman Empire is called a Hasteluda. Um, and we have, we have been progressing down a trait path, which is interesting. Um... All of this is, you know, uh, if you're if you're not familiar with this Crusader Kings, yes, the way you come to understand Crusader Kings, uh, even after having played it for, you know, hundreds of hours, is you just play until you hit a mechanic you don't understand, and then you trust it will either make sense later or it won't. Um, that is sort of the only way to play it. Uh, we have two sons, both of whom. Oh, sorry, we have a daughter. We have a daughter with an extremely cool center parting, and a son. Uh, Heilvig, who's six, and Anno, who is one. Uh, and then we have three Anno brothers. might be, you might be imagining, Anno is the opposite of Popo. They're uh, sort of yin and yang. Sort <laughs> they of. are, they are. And we're going to marry them. Um, right? <laughs> shit, we should marry them. We need to talk about Popo in a second. Um, uh, but, but really, we also have three notable brothers. We have Hugo. Uh, you'll notice that our brothers like us-ish. <laughs> Hugo, who is our caravan master, uh, Albrecht, uh, who is a vindictive adventurer, and then the most important brother, Bruno, our spy master and acclaimed <laughs> knight, who who also has the time. Who, who I forgot we married to a guy called Reno to get uh, who is an irrational antagonist to get an alliance. Uh, Bruno is uh, oh god, where does it say it? He's he 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 basically um, he is called the Terror of the Plains. Um, he's like a special named knight. Um, and I think maybe this is a good place to start because last time we talked about, um, I'm, I'm pausing the game, but I'm running it at its slowest speed. We were disappointed that, ah, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> look who it is. Huh? Wait, who is this? Oh, is this the guy that we were going to kill? No, this is Count Siegfried of Worms. Oh. Come to see you in a new light. Perhaps you're even someone I would one day be proud to call my friend. Wow. Wow. They hated us in Worms. They hated us so much in Worms that it was dangerous to go there. To go there. Wow. But but our, our Chancellor, Henrika, has been doing good work. She's, uh... Yeah. She's been doing great work. What is she actually doing right now? Let's check. She is... She's complimenting their worms. Foreign affairs. Yeah, she's complimenting. <laughs> she's complimenting their worms. Uh, traits in worms. Very nice worms here. Um, uh, uh, industriousness. Uh, one more worm joke. Worms. It says your silver tongue is shining today, uh, Enrique. That's no tongue. <laughs> wait, wait. Our chancellor has had her tongue replaced with a worm to be able to more accurately speak to. <laughs> To yes. Siegfried of Worms? Yep, yep. Wow. Okay. That's why That's why the, she's being so effective. Shit, incredible. Kaylee Rowena in chat says, fucked up if true. So we were it disappointed is, is that when we went on a big trip to the north to participate in a tournament, the Terror of the Plains couldn't um, uh, fight on our behalf. So I think what we should do right. to start with is make him our personal champion. Personal champion. Now what yeah. this does is based on his aptitude, uh, it will reduce our dread decay. No, sorry. It will increase our dread decay because someone else is fighting on our behalf. That's the way I yeah. understand this. Yeah, dread decay is almost always good. Yes, it is also worth saying that uh, uh, our dread is nothing, is zero. Right now. Even though someone once referred to us as Gerhard the Terrible. <laughs> Do you know why this is? I looked this up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is because they are such a monumental coward that, that uh, put it this way, in Crusader Kings, you can be so cowardly that someone with a stat of zero dread uh, is terrifying to you. <laughs> Oh, so this, it was that, it was that person. They were so, 
Uh, it's the, so it's the Kaiser. They were like, yes, oh. the Kaiser is so cowardly that he's like, wow, <laughs> <laughs> this guy's fucking terrifying. <laughs> And look at our train. It's, it's zero. And in fact, it is lower than zero because we have, I believe, syphilis. Um, Crusader Kings doesn't deal in negative numbers for anything other than opinion, um, as you can see here. Uh, but yes, he is terrified of us. You can see here, he is terrified of you right. due to your dreadful reputation traveling before you. He will never oppose <laughs> you directly. I love to have the king of the holy roman empire <laughs> shaking in their boots over spongebob squarepants <laughs> purely because spongebob squarepants isn't also cowardly i think if we were also <laughs> cowardly he would feel differently about it norepinephrine in the chat says that's how i feel about people i have to call on the phone um this will also increase can we look at, at uh, the king's um uh uh traits Real quick. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But uh, I'd love to do this first just so we can get it. Done. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. He sure. can take our place in some duels and he earns us prestige. This is going to be Bruno. His aptitude is average, but I think this is fine. Dread decay, negative 15. Not worried about that. I don't think we need to be dreadful. Yeah. Plus 10% no. prestige a month. And I believe as we go through and do um, the uh, events that crop up for personal champion, uh, he will improve. I or has so. at least the chance to improve. So Kaiser Heinrich is a spineless atheist. Ooh. Okay, no secrets. Look, bro, we just gave you uh, a uh, uh, good Relation. information. But I want oh, you to okay. keep it up because we need to... We would. I would love some secrets here because this is about the sort of second part of my plan here. Um, he's a spineless atheist. He is a cynic. He's craven. <laughs> He's chaste. He's a skill tactician, and he's a lo lo uh, lo how do you say that word? Logistician. Yeah. Um. Okay. Fair enough. The other thing that I noticed, Keith, was uh, when I went into this courtiers tab and I clicked on your courtiers, I noticed that a man was visiting our court with a name so remarkable that I immediately quit the game because I didn't want to get excited about it. I really hope okay. he's still here and he hasn't left. I would like to introduce you to Gottfried von Pudeldorf. <laughs> oh, he's here. <sighs> um, he's wow, a finally. And he only hates us a little bit. He only hates us a tad. Uh, he's wow, a normally Gottfried von Pudeldor goes around hating everyone he meets. But not us. This righteous lackey with an unbelievable diplomacy skill. Um, Holy shit, he does have an unbelievable diplomacy skill. Yeah, Gottfried von Pudeldor is not... Is not <laughs> <around>. <laughs> he's trusting. <laughs> This is the poodle dog here in this image. <laughs> Do you see? Um, yeah, that is that's the poodle dog. <laughs> he uh. is generous. He's humble. He's an intricate web weaver. He's scarred. He's a traveler. He has an excellent diplomacy score, a good martial score, a good stewardship score, a good intrigue score, a good learning score, and terrible prowess. He's from House Poodle Dog. Uh, their motto is is bravery through. <laughs> Bravery through the spear. <laughs> Look at Bravery through the spear. This is his family tree. <laughs> <laughs> he starts there No, I'm going I'm going to a Strasbourg and I'm going to start the Von Poodle Dorgs. <laughs> and if you don't like that, I'm gonna jab you with my spear. <laughs> Strength by That's the spear. That's the Von Poodle Dorg way. Okay, so first things first, Keith. We just Oh no! We don't have 110 gold to recruit him to our court. What the fuck? Okay. That's a tragedy. Fuck. This is a fucking tragedy. Well, I'm gonna pin him. First things first. Right. We can invite. He doesn't have to be here for us to invite him. Uh, but he is here. Oh, that's true. We can right, invite right. Him but I'm saying that if, 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 yes, if he leaves, we we don't need him to come back to 
recruit him. We can recruit right, him right, from right, wherever. Right, right. No, Keith, Keith, could Keith, do, Keith, Keith. We yeah. do need him to come back. <laughs> like morally. Right. Like, like in my right. soul. Yeah. Uh, what I mean is we can give him the 110 gold whether he's here or whether he's in Upper <laughs> Lorraine. That is true. But I'm saying we should just... Why doesn't he like us? Because uh, we can speak like German. Because uh, we're lustful and he's humble and we're arrogant. Uh, it's fine. That's we're gonna uh, be could, we, could we matrilineally marry him to someone in our court? Uh, because he is not in our court, we oh maybe we can arrange marriage. Let's see. We can offer a marriage. He's free to say no because he's not in our court. Do you want to marry Elizabeth? Well, so okay, so spouse one is Gottfried von Pudeldorf. Uh, <laughs> okay, why isn't he uh, available for marriage? That's interesting. Wait, I don't understand this. Oh, right, 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 I see. Do you want to marry... He doesn't want to marry my my cool knight, Elizabeth. Wait, he's he's already married? What? He's already married? No, we clicked on him. He doesn't have a... He didn't have a spouse in the thing. No, he doesn't have a spouse. What the fuck? Why is he... Sigh, the chat says. I hope it's to himself. <laughs> that would be great. Um... Why is he? Oh, is he a monk? No, not that I can tell. Wait, just go back over the will not accept uh, minus 132. Oh, he wants a high born. That's what it is. Elizabeth is low born minus 120. But what does Gottfried von Pudeldorf's own marriage here mean? What is this tracking? I don't know. That's a mystery. But yes, this is this is the real reason why he's not. Um, huh. But then she'll probably leave, right? She will probably well, go. It, well, that's why I said matrilineal. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Okay. Well, well, I'm not going to marry you to my... Ch oh, my God, what if he becomes our stepdad? Wow, I think really, really does not... It's the role he was born to play. He really does not want that. He does not want that whatsoever. The marriage will have low fertility and age considerations. Fuck. His dream really must be to further the Poodle Dorg line. And why wouldn't it... <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? Okay, look, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start swaying him with an 88% chance. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, it's worth saying that Keith and my goal is to um, create the... Uh, the. Oh, fuck. How do I do this? Yes. Uh, the, the Duchy of Alsace here. Uh, which doesn't really exist right now, and we need some areas in order to get it. Uh, we have been assembling an alliance in order to be able to more effectively take a shot at uh, Sundgau down here or Breisgau up here. Um, because Crusader Kings, in Crusader Kings, you really are um, only as strong as uh, how much sort of land power you are able to wield. And in Strasbourg right now, it is it is really just in the town of Str the city of Strasbourg. Um, so we are we are sort of trying to increase our um, holdings, uh, right. and we are fabricating a claim not on through the normal way by earning more gold, but through the fun <laughs> fast way by marrying off our brothers three. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we're fabricating a claim on the county right now so that there's a chance that we can just uh, go in here and go to war. It looks like they are constructing something uh, right now in the castle of Montbelliard, which would be fantastic because we could take that. Um, I think the other thing that it's worth saying is that... Um, oh, nice. Uh, that's really cool. So Strasbourg just gained organized service, which means that our taxes will... Uh, the money we get from taxes will go up. In addition, uh, our sort of low-key enemy is Kaiser Heinrich, whose primary heir, thanks to the system of electors, is a man named Count Kuno from Disco Elysium. Uh, Count Kuno's primary heir is... Wait, what the fuck? Where did he go? 
Oh, he got a new one. Where the fuck is Popo? All right, hold on. Give me the Maybe search they're brothers. Bar. I tried that. They don't seem to be brothers. Where do I get the? How do I? Keith, Keith, how do I search? Keith. Um, <laughs> um, you click, click on the crown. This crown? No. Oh no, other crown, crown, top right. That yeah. And then you could go to the Kaiser, and then go to Kaiser's realm, the re realm, and then you could search in there. Right. Mmm. Mmm. Where's fucking? Maybe I was wrong. Do you where's look it fucking up? Popo? Um. Well, hold on. It <laughs> oh, whoa! I'm a candidate to be the Holy Roman Emperor. This will not be me. Uh, hit C or F. I don't know. We might win the election. Who knows? We made a pretty good impression at the tourney. Uh, it's Popo von Weimar, right? It's got to be. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's we have some other him. Popos, but but this is Popo. I can tell based on that he's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> and he is the son of that guy. No, no. He is the son of Count Ulrich of Pula. The uh, uh, electoral stuff shifted about and Kuno became the... Uh, I'm just gonna pin Popo. Uh, Kuno became the the next heir, which is whoa, whoa! Popo was all the way down here. Um, Keith and I decided that we were gonna try and take Popo under our under our wing in some way. Uh, the, the the way we're gonna do that is unclear to us right now, but uh, play to find out what happens. You know? Oh no! Okay. Today I was given grave news. My daughter and heir, Heilvig, has fallen ill with consumption. The future is uncertain. Death lingers closely by her bedside, yet she might survive, only God knows. The physician, a man we recently hired called Avamai, wants to know how my daughter should be treated. Option one, be cautious, do no more than is necessary. Option two, the time has come for drastic measures. Option three, there will be no treatment. Option four, I trust your judgment. Huh... I so okay. Be uh uh. There this the time has come for drastic measures in, is interesting, because what either happens is you have a total incompetent doctor who to them that means cutting off a leg for no reason. Right, right, right. Or they have some sort of extremely effective experimental treatment, or they're a witch and they're performing witchcraft. Right. All three of these things seem to sometimes work and sometimes not work. <laughs> now, it's worth saying he is a novice physician, but he is he's not terrible at it, you know? He's 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 all right. Right. So... I I I mean definitely treatment. Oh, absolutely. Uh, she is already consumptive. Wow. Consumption was and remains really bad. bad. Yeah. Actually, I don't know what consumption is. It is uh, uh, related to tuberculosis, I believe. Oh, okay. You know, I'll, I think that I'll go ahead and say it. The time has come for drastic measures or I trust your judgment. <sighs> Let's do it. Only the best for my daughter. Yeah. Oh, it worked. Greatly reduced for five years. Look at that. That's incredible. Greatly reduced symptoms for five years. I don't know if it's gone through yet, because it does still seem that it's pretty bad. Uh, um, is time paused? Oh, yeah. Um, in any case, I... Let's see. Oh, you know, I think that the consumption trait and the bonus you get for reduced symptoms are in, like, different parts of the, of the thing. Oh, I see. That, yes. that would make sense to me. Yeah. There's a little green Look icon Catholic, next to Catholic. Next to, yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. She has a massive... Whoa. Massive boost to There's health. There's some sort of a war going on over there. This is the HRE. We're going to see this happening yep. more and more. <laughs> um, okay. That's good to know. And I would also like to see my doctor, who I have to imagine this is improving, but I didn't see it. Current level two. How does he get that higher? I don't know. We shall see. Um, we I, you know, I bet that successful treatment just helped. I hope so. Yeah. Ah. Now, would you like to go on a hunt? 
Yes, with definitely. Count William if in the south. Whoa. Down in Brass. Uh, to corner a white stag of legend. I think this is probably a good idea. Hunts are great, and the only problem with them is that they're also kind of expensive. So going on someone else's hunt seems like a great way to get all the hunt benefits, but for free. Yeah, and there's no dangers on the route. You know, I'm not worried. Four of us are going. Uh, my three brothers and Elizabeth. <laughs> and me. Um, That's okay. a crew. That's a crew. What a crew. Okay, excellent. Um, I don't think we need any of this stuff because it's it's basically not dangerous at all. Yeah. Um, yeah it'll take right. us two months to get there. Uh, I wish it told us again when we need to set off by. Oh, within fifty days. Okay. Well, let's 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 get going. You know. Yeah. No time like the present. No time like the present. I've got my bird, my beautiful bird here, and my brother that I'm normally stroking. I know how to regular. stroke the bird in a regular fashion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Off we go. Uh, and of course, Matilda, our mother, has now become the regent. Um, where was the regency menu? Oh, it's 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 um, it's down there. Okay, that's all good. I trust her. Um. That seems fine. We're still doing secrets here. We're fabricating a claim on uh, Sundgau. Um, oh. I've noticed Mere that Elizabeth... Whispers. Oh, do you want to read this one? I've noticed that Elizabeth avoids me more than usual. She always sits at the opposite end of the table when we're invited Didn't to a feast. this happen before? Can, this oh, it's has our wife, happened before. Or was before. it Elizabeth. It was Elizabeth, and consistently refuses my company while camping. We may not have the best of relationships, but that attitude is starting to tire me. Especially when I overhear her defaming me. Gerhard is a heartless bed swerver. I've never <laughs> seen that before. I like it. I'd better... Uh, I'd be a way better count than him. Wow. Yes, we wow. have seen this before. You want to know who it is? I'll show you. We fight our knight, Elizabeth, and it's very likely that she wins, wounding us. Yeah. Uh, we get stressed because we're arrogant. We Critical stress. We just kick her out? Or yeah. this, maybe we just kick her out, Keith. This is the second time. Yeah, this is the second time. And there's a chance that she becomes my rival, which is really cool. Yeah. Sorry, the unmarried lowborn knight becomes our rival? Yeah, sure. Well, let's see. And she is a coward. She's, she's a shy, lazy, chaste coward. Bye, Elizabeth. Bye, Elizabeth. Wow. This is now officially a boys only hunt. <laughs> she's been replaced <laughs> by the doctor. <laughs> Bring me Avamai, quick! <laughs> right off the right off the back of curing my daughter. <laughs> the vibes are off. We need a we need a quintuplet. <laughs> oh oh wait, they, he, wait, he the host was included in that list. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> okay. We're on our way. This is I think us. Yeah, we, uh, I have a question about worms, actually. Worms is sure. where is worms? It's uh da, da, da. under the ground usually. <laughs> It's here. Uh, yeah. County of Worms, I want it. I want it. <laughs> you want it? You want the County of Worms? Just speaking it, manifesting my truth. I want worms. I, <laughs> I want worms. Von Poodle Dog. <laughs> as, we await the, as we await the arrival of the rest of the guests, Count uh, Guillaume has started on the preparations. His gamekeepers check the grasslands each day for signs of quarry while building a camp closer to the hunting grounds. My bird grows restless, w w <laughs> waiting, knowing it will soon be unleashed. Soon. Oh my god, look at everyone who's here! We're it waiting is the, on appro the appropriate way to send your bird is to unleash it. Unleash the bird? Uh, wait, now, wait, hang on. He stole my bird, and he's hiding it behind the master of the hunt, Mayor Gwigs. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, who's coming? Let's see. 
Because 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 we've got some sort of uh, tactical maneuvers that we want to make in and around Sundgau and you know up here with Swabia etc. So it might be, you know, interesting to see who is present. Some names that I would be interested to see who is present. Louis of Sundgau. At the hunt, you mean? Yep. Yeah. Louis of Sundgau. Rudolf of Swabia. Berthold of Corinthia. Those three names, I think, are the names that I'm really interested in. So that is Louis of Sundgau. Not him. Rudolf of Swabia. And Berthold of Corinthia. Hmm. Oh, hey, speaking of Sundgau, uh, what, uh, what duke owns Sundgau presently? Uh, Sundgau is currently owned by... Uh, Count Louis of Sundgau, and his duke is um, Duke Rudolf. So the, the, these are two okay. people that I that I want to fucking kill. Duke um, Rudolf, that is someone to kill because that is probably going to get partitioned up when he dies. Yes, very neatly. Who, who is his successor? Oh, my goodness, it's a 12-year-old. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a 12-year-old. Yes, but basically, whenever I play Crusader Kings, and one of my people, one of my one of my kings or queens dies and is replaced with a child, uh, everybody instantly invades me. Um, and so it is it is knives out time for dukes and counts when their liege is a baby. It truly is. It true. That's what knives out is about. Um, yeah, you have to read it differently. In the background scenes, but that's right. What the it's fact about. that there are the, the fact that 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 the uh, um, the dad is a baby is a metaphor. Yeah, absolutely. In Knives Out, yeah, uh, he's also a literal baby, but it's a metaphor right. too. Um, so basically, anytime you can, uh, a pretty good heuristic for how to play Crusader Kings is think about what is the most uh, teeth clenchingly irritating situation that the AI puts you in, and then put them in that situation. Um, right. So we're looking for Duke Rudolph, uh, Count Louis, and Duke Berthold. Just say that we wanted to kill Duke Rudolph. Oh, what? what just what off the our, bat? Yeah, just totally. Just off the bat. What's yeah, yeah, chance? yeah. Just with the bat. Um, it's pretty tricky, honestly. Pretty tricky. 21% not great. Nobody really wants to be involved. Um, yeah. However. The problem right now is that we're kind of unlikable, so no one wants to join our scheme. Yep. Because we are covered in sores. But I will say, Duke Berthold of Corinthia, so that's the guy who runs this area, yeah. is here. That's interesting. Um, that interesting. Oh, 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 Keith. He's here. Keith, he's here. What's our intent? Murder. Fucking kill, the Duke, kill Duke Rudolph of Swabia. Now I mean, look. Now I mean, look. That'd be great if we could kill all of them. Because Bertolt's here, <laughs> Rudolph's Killed here, a lot of them. Uh, killed a lot of them. Uh, who's the last one we want to kill? Uh, it's is it Mayor Gweek? No, it's not. Is it Mayor Donut? <laughs> do we want to kill? Remind do we, me, do we want to kill Donut? Do we want to kill Donut? Remind me. Donut to me is the ab <laughs> is the opposite name of <laughs> Gottfried von Pudeldorg. <laughs> Atelier Zeno says, oh, we really are going to hunt guests. Yes. What game do you think you're watching us play? We're not here to have a good time. When it's the, it's the, um. A uh, hunt is never just a hunt. No, no. It's the, uh, uh, you've seen that clip of, um, God, what's the front man of the Nine Inch Nails, as David Lynch calls them? What's his name? Trent uh, Reznor. Yes, Trent Reznor. You've seen that great clip of Trent Reznor talking to the crowd, and he's like, how's everybody doing? Feeling great? Are you ready to have a good time? Nope, wrong band. Those were the last guys, and then immediately launches into some, you know, awful Trent Reznor shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh. That's very funny. No, I've, <laughs> I have not seen that. I, uh, for my sins, I really like the Nine Inch Nails. Um, uh, for your sins, I do not like the Nine Inch Nails. You don't much. like them? No, I can't. I have never found myself enjoying a Nine Inch Nails song. Look, Keith, I don't understand what you don't like about an eight-minute loop of a degrading arpeggiator while on the top someone sings about, like, the cicadas. 
<laughs> and you see, t- that sounds so appealing to me. And there's people who do stuff like that, but don't sound like the Nine Inch Nails that I do love. Who do you love that makes music kind of like the Nine Inch Nails? Uh, I don't know. Um, I was so. This is, it's, it's, you know, I listen, I go on YouTube and I watch a lot of, um, I watch a lot of sort of like improvised uh, like synth jams where it's just like one or two people with a, you know, with with a ten thousand dollars worth of synthesizers in front <laughs> yes. of them sort of plinking away for a half hour. And I and I don't ever really learn their names because they always just pop right back up when I'm searching for that sort of thing. Yes, they are the lo-fi beats, hip hop beats to chill and relax to of <laughs> synth jams. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, I did a bunch of listening to industrial music and post-industrial music in prep for Partisan, and it was a genre I never really enjoyed, and I truly was like, the fastest way to make me like a genre is to have to listen to a lot of it for work. <laughs> it sounds counterintuitive, but I'll get to the end of it and be like, oh yeah, it turns out I do actually have kind of specific opinions about, about bits of this this style. I have had a lot of friends who have been very into Nine Inch Nails and have like been like, no, no, try this. And it's the same thing with, um, uh, it's the same thing with, um, shit. Um, the Tom York's band, Radiohead. Radiohead. I all, I, God, I just can't stand Radiohead. I don't like Radiohead. Oh, you actively dislike Radiohead? I, uh, yeah, yeah. It's another sort of thing where it's like every, a lot of the stuff that I would listen to would make you, would suggest that I very much like Radiohead. Um, but it just, it just is a sort of wide miss for me. I would sacrifice, I would sacrifice things to be able to have Tom York's singing voice. I think he has a beautiful voice. Um, I think you have a much better voice than Tom York. Keith, that is very kind of you to say. That's very that's very sweet of you to say, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it to be true. Um, yeah, it's also worth saying. I wouldn't say that like I'm like the world's biggest Nine Inch Nails fan. I just regularly have a good time listening to their music, and by a good time, I yeah. mean I feel kind of <laughs> clammy and miserable. Um. All right, well, let's king the, kill the fucking... Uh, what's his name? Rudolph. Rudolph of Swabia. Let's fucking end him. Let's do it. Let's end him. Um, okay, my intent is recreation. Uh, success. Ch- it's funny here that they're talking about success chance is at the hunt, not at the killing. Um, uh, we're here to kill. Uh, we're here to kill... Wait, who is... Okay, sorry, I thought that said King Gottfried. And I thought I was like, who the fuck is a king here? Duke Rudolph of Swabia. It's him. It's him. There he is. You're focused on ending the life of your target. This often results in (laughs) in murder (laughs) occasions. (laughs) (laughs) And then, you know, who does that better than Paradox? Truly. uh, So much of the way... And, you know, we talked about how... um, the differences between CK2 and CK3, something that really stood out to KB and me when we played CK2 uh, just before it came out, and we were like in that in that moment where CK, well, sorry, sorry, we played CK3 just before it came out, we were in that moment of like, the last game was so fresh in our minds. This game is so much better written, like top to bottom, the writing yeah. is so much better, right down to the clarity of this often results in murder occasions is just, is, <laughs> t- to me, that is excellent writing. Well, um, the, what the flip of that is that it reminds me of something from CK2, which is when you, um, uh, when you, oh, maybe it is CK3. Maybe I'm just jumbling them up. But uh, when you launch a befriend scheme. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, I think, in this game. <laughs> Those are really funny. Oh, uh, yeah. The way that everything gets flattened to, like, the language of schemes is yeah, fucking yeah. excellent. Um, And uh, nothing, you can't do anything without it being a machination. No, of course. Like, your character never wants to be someone's friend. It's always launching a befriend scheme. (gasps) We have a little baby daughter. Wow. And her name shall be... Poodle Dork. No, Keith. I will not name her Poodle Dork. I will name her... Grundin was pretty good. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> E-N. Oh, fuck. Well, oh, Brandon. That's fine. Okay, let me just check this out. Oh, right, because she's the regent. Um, it's interesting that the regent fills the slot of spouse so it is more immediately visible to you. Uh, she doesn't care for us very much, but I, a lot of that is the various illnesses that we've given her. And the cheating. <laughs> yeah, right, and the cheating. Uh, no, we, we accused her of cheating, but she wasn't, as far as we could tell, and that really... Uh, I believe that when we gave her lover's pox, she found out that we had been cheating. Oh, right. We were cheating. Right. Yes. And then we did accuse her of cheating. I forgot about right, that. Right, right, right. I was just, I was treating the, the fact that we cheated and the fact that we gave her two uh, or gave her an STD as two things to be mad at. Yes, absolutely. Instead of one conjoined. Uh, advice, faith and religions. Want to learn more about faith and religion? Open this for an introduction to your religion. Oh, you know yeah, what? I think I will. Faith. I could use a little yeah. refresher. <laughs> All characters believe in a faith, which in turn belongs to a religion. For example, Catholicism is a faith, which belongs to Christianity. Every faith is different from every other faith, and they mean this. The faith, it's a, there's a whole other game within this game. I mean, this game is ten right. games stitched yeah. together. Right. Uh, let's take a closer look. Your faith yeah, has... You, it does not matter how close the religion that you make up is to Catholicism. They will not like you for not being Catholic. No, they will not like me for... Yes, yes, that's true. That's true. Your faith has a number. Your faith, Catholicism, has a number of doctrines. These doctrines set rules for members of the faith and govern many things, such as gender succession laws available or what characters can hold temple holdings. Tenets at the top are special doctrines that give bonuses or options for your character, like the ability to meditate or participate in great holy wars. All faiths also have sins and virtues, indicating behavior that is either frowned upon or celebrated by your peers. So, for example, our three tenets are armed pilgrimages, communion, that's a, that's a big one for Catholics. And monasticism. Yeah. Um, uh, our sins are, I would imagine, pretty regular stuff. Uh, <laughs> as far as uh, uh, Christianity well, is concerned. Well, that's just because, yeah, that's just, just the Catholics went all over the place and ruined everyone's lives. Uh, pretty much. Uh, we have lustfulness, uh, gluttony, uh, deceitfulness, sadism, and uh, vengefulness. Um... Uh, these two, I think, are pretty bad, but I do think that lustfulness, gluttony, and sadism, well, different kinds of sadism are probably all right. I don't know that yeah. I would call them sins. Let's well, see. Well, in this game, sadism is stuff like wanting to cut off your prisoner's toes for no reason. Now, let me be as clear as possible. I think that that is, uh, that is sadistic. Not allowed. Yeah. Um, uh, although they do gain the very special trait can launch schemes against their children, which is very useful. Who, sadists? Oh, yes, yeah. they can use hostile schemes against their children. Uh, and our virtues are chastity, uh, temperance, honesty, compassion, and forgiveness. Uh, more of these I would consider virtuous than I would consider these sinful. I think compassion's pretty important. Uh, and I, I'm, I'll say that on tape. <laughs> I'll say that on tape, too. Give me a tape. You'll and then I'll manipulate it in some interesting way. It's Oh, Trent is here. <laughs> Trent? Trent showed up. I'll say this. Reznor is a great surname. Um, yes. Yeah. Oh, Trent Reznor is the most accurately named guy that I've ever heard of. <laughs> uh, no I've one has more deserved to be called that. I've been on the phone with a variety of healthcare providers and banks recently uh, in America, uh, which is a fucking nightmare because uh, as an immigrant. Uh, right. You used to get that for free. They don't. Well, yes, uh, they also don't make that stuff easy if you're an immigrant, which probably wouldn't surprise anybody. Um, but oh, it does they don't mean... make it easy for us either. I don't know what the difference is, but <laughs> <laughs> um, I I will say that I have recently discovered that uh, uh, the thing that I have to say after I say my surname is, and I can spell that for you if you'd like. Um, yeah. Um, one um, one American thing. I don't know if they have this other places, but um, uh, you can just start spelling it without even offering to spell it i'll just spell it out yeah that's true. yeah Do you so my my mother this is how she talks i talk on the phone every phone call i've ever heard where she said to give her a name uh she goes she says her name and she says carberry c-a-r-b as in boy boy e-r-r-y every phone call she just spells it out <laughs> every time and carberry you'd think it'd be an easy name to spell but no uh people ask 
all the time. How do you spell that? Really? Huh. Yes. Yeah. I um sometimes get midway through. I've, I've gotten better at it now because I've just memorized it. But I used to get midway through spelling my name out with the phonetic alphabet and then <laughs> flame out spectacularly. It's like the John Mulaney bit of writing happy birthday real big on a sign. And, you know, you start right. very optimistically and then by the end. You're just cramping in birthday. Oh, I'd write, run, I would run straight into Q and be like, I don't know the thing for Q. I believe it is Quebec. Oh, I think it is. Yeah. Delta Echo, Quebec, Uniform, Indigo, Delta Tango. Yeah, there you go. There you yeah, go. Yeah, definitely heavy on the first half over the second half of the alphabet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the point at which I sort of stopped caring. Um, yeah. Our main doctrines are uh, equality. Uh, that's great. Uh, righteousness. We basically get mad about other people's, uh, faiths. <laughs> is it, are, is Catholicism sure here that one of their main doctrines is equality? We are in the world that you described as correct, Keith. <laughs> Remember when we <laughs> set the game going? Oh, right. Oh, right. Yes. Okay. Got it. Uh, we are, th uh, the theocratic, um, we are encouraged, so we are encouraged to go on pilgrimages, and we have ecumenism, um, which is a little bit like, it's not quite, but it's a little bit like the many stars hypothesis in uh, Partisan and Palisade. We allow for uh, other similar religions without considering them totally hostile. We allow for some sort of uh, disagreement there. And is that, is that another one of ours? No, I think that ecumenism is a uh, historically Catholic trait. Although, of course, it is uh, it plays in very specific ways. For example, well, it's as the victim of multiple Catholic uh, uh, crusades. Yes, I call that one into question. We are not, for example, talking about um, uh, like Islam. Or the or the other religions, right. or the faiths right. within Islam. Well, uh, I started a Christian. I started sort of an occult Christianity. And oh, they oh, it. I think that was way too far off for them. I think they're talking about it doesn't exist yet. But for example, uh, uh, oh, um, uh, let's think about like Franciscans or Benedictines or um, the um, those are Catholic. They're Catholic. Yes, they are Catholics, but they are different. Uh, sort of internal branches sure, of Sure, okay. Catholicism. Of Catholicism. Yeah, Jay Harkin sure. says they're talking like Baptists and Lutherans. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, we're about to enter into a period of heavy... Well, if Baptists and Lutherans... I mean, Lutherans were here. They're about to go to war with the Lutherans. <laughs> like, in 400 years. <laughs> yes, that's true. Um, yeah. Monogamous marriage type. Divorce must be approved. We can legitimize bastards. And... Oh, Christ. A German king would kill the shit out of a Baptist. <laughs> a peasant would be obliterated by one bite of a, of a, a flaming hot cheetah. Avunculate marriage is to do with how um, close familial marriages are allowed. So marriages in, in, in this doctrine between cousins, aunts and nephews and uncles and nieces are allowed. And sexual relations between cousins, aunts and nephews and uncles and nieces will not give the incest secret. As long as they are not directly related... We have different uh, definitions of directly related here. Family members right. are permitted to marry each other for the good of the dynasty. Okay, so these, this is this page. All faiths have fervor, which waxes and wanes over time, depending on the number of adherents to the faith, how holy wars are going, how holy wars are going, and more. Fervor represents how fanatical most members of the faith are feeling currently, including the many unwashed peasants across the world. Crusader uh, Kings, Jack, ask me how my holy war is going. How's your holy war going, Keith? Oh my god, it's going so well. <laughs> Keith, I'm so glad to hear that. I know you were yeah. feeling anxious about it, but I'm so glad to I hear was, it's going so well. I, I wasn't sure about it at first, but you were right. And when I got in there and just started <laughs> killing people, I really felt, well, I felt really close to God at that moment. <laughs> So glad. When your faith's fervor is high, it is easier to convert counties to your faith and counties of your faith to resist conversion to other faiths. When faith fervor is low, however, rulers might decide to abandon their current faith in favor of another from the same religion, spawning a heresy. Heretical rulers will convert along with their closest territory and vassals and are free to spread their new faith in place of the old. From the faith view, it is possible to create a new faith of your own. Doctrines and tenets will cost a certain amount of piety, depending on which tenets your current faith has. Piety is this stat up here. 
It's money, it's uh, religion currency. This is not something to worry about for your first character. True, uh, but it can be a very fun first goal to work towards when you're feeling more confident. Family members and vassals who have a high opinion of you are more likely to join your new faith, and high learning skill can convince many more. But anyone of your old faith who does not convert will consider you a heretic. Now I'll say this, Jack. Keith. Becoming Holy Roman Emperor is a great way to very quickly spread a new religion. It sure is. It sure is. And I mean, that's our obvious goal, right? As the weirdo here... Let me see how this hunt's going. Yeah. Oh, that was weird. I was looking over at the chat, reading the chat, and our view count jumped up by like 50 in one second. Oh, that that's fun. It says there's yeah. negative one Hi, guest remaining, which is interesting. <laughs> oh, well. Huh. Not a problem. Wow, we really did intend to murder... Yeah, <laughs> some sort of a spirit going on. What is going on here in Bavaria? Truly, who is fighting whom? What war is this? Who are you at war with? It's a war, f it's a tyranny war. Okay. Okay. Well, so this is a peasant, this is a peasant war? No, um. Oh, it's not? I thought pe tyranny wars were like peasant. Uh, it's, they can be. I think it might just be that they. Um, uh, oh, uh, Panther Grace points out five East Coast five PM just hit. <laughs> Folks just finished work. Hello. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, I believe it is. Uh, there's two ways you can have a tyranny war. It's a peasant thing, or it is a. Um, you can claim that someone else is being tyrannical. Right. Yeah. 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 As a. Um, as a cause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all babies cry, but with little grunt in, there is no end to the tears. I desperately want the midwife to ease my worries, but her furrow brow makes everything worse. Your daughter is not gaining weight as she should. We will take good care of her, my lord, but in the end, her life is in God's hands. Sad. When a baby is sick, they always make it float. It's very bizarre. Babies don't do that? My, I never did as a baby. I never... Maybe it's a British thing. I But I floated when I was well. Aha. Uh May -huh. mm. Megwigs. Gui gui <laughs> Megwigs. Uh, Count Guillaume's Master of the Hunt summons the party to gather as the light reaches the camp in the flatlands near Champagnol. With any luck, we'll find a flock of storks and our hawks will have great sport. The beaters' teams are ready with the hounds and a well-appointed spot has been chosen. It says our intent is recreation. It is not. I'll change that as soon as possible. Yeah. I hope it's that he that he didn't not come. <laughs> um, uh, Rosemary in the chat says, uh, "Sweet of Grundon to have a plus seventy six opinion of you, <laughs> considering she's never met you. <laughs> she's heard about us. She's heard about us. Right? Yes. Well, so sadly, he did not arrive." The he did Duke? not come. Yeah, the Duke of uh, fucking Swabia. Son, yeah, yeah. Huh. Xenophon he was on says, the list, I thought. Did we already kill him? What's the activity log? I don't think we already killed him, sadly. Yeah, he's he's here. If you double click on him, it'll say where he is. It'll like, it'll you know, the map will go to where he's at. Yeah, he he's uh, in... No, it's, where is he? Oh, it, it's possible the hunt just hasn't started yet. Because we're still traveling, aren't we? No, no, we've arrived. Okay. Oh, we're right. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is in Salin, apparently, which is... That's Champagnol. Yeah, yeah he's well, we not... We did have 50 days to leave, so it's possible that he's just, like, not there yet. No, the hunt has, the hunt has begun. You are engaged oh. in the hunt. I think that's why it kicked us oh, well. off the... Well, okay, so we should probably kill this guy, right? Yeah, who's his heir? Oh, uh, just some guy. He's a 22-year-old, and there's a 20-year-old. Yeah, we'd have to really work our way down That is unfortunately old enough to be king, a real king. Yeah. Or duke, in this case. Count Louis of Sundgau. I would quite like to kill him. What happened in the activity lock? Okay, we, we set off to find some storks. <laughs> um, what's this guy called? Count Louis. Anybody here called Louis? Me, in France. <laughs> I don't think anybody here is called Louis. Wow, that's it. 
I'm looking to kill someone French. This is extremely disappointing, Keith. Yeah. Hey, but we did actually really need to get our stress down, so maybe doing the hunt as written is not the worst idea in the world. And we just go for recreation and we kill some stress, and then when we need to disagree with someone, we can actually say something instead of kicking them out of our court. That's true. That's true. Well, let's see the other things. Do we want to... Um... No, let's 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 relax. Let's let's have a re nice relaxing hunt and uh, no killing, no murdering, on the hunt. Okay. Oh, what? Who's at war? We have murder at home. We do have murder at home. Are you at war with somebody? I'm not. Whoa! Oh, did Duke Rudolph get called to war? No, I believe that. Wait a second. Oh, come on. This is... <laughs> so this guy is at war. Friedrich of Zollern and his ally, Count Louis, that's this guy. In Sungau. Are fighting Duke Rudolf of Swabia. They, they are wow. unhappy about... Yeah, the tyranny... Tyranny. <laughs> the tyranny is about crown authority. Crown authority is a, is a mechanic by which... Um, Lieges, so people higher up the feudal system, exert power on uh, 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 ranked members lower than them. So not the peasants, but the uh, dukes. Or if it's a king crown authority, sorry, the counts. The dukes and the counts. <laughs> feudal system is organized with the king at the top, then dukes, then counts. Crown authority is about the people lower on the pyramid getting angry about how the people on the upper pyramid are treating each other. Um, this guy is... Uh, Attacking this guy. I wish I could see what they want. You know, what their demands are. But I can't. But it is good to know that there is a war happening. Yeah. I wonder how that war is going to go. We should keep an eye on that so that we know yeah. which side to be on. Chat, is there an easy way to see the, uh, the demands of a war that you are not involved in? I don't know if that's the case. Oh, right, yes. The game is paused because of this wildflower hunt. My acquaintance, Guillaume, he's the guy who's running the hunt, is crouched down on the ground, humming cheerfully, picking up irises. He appears to have lost all interest in nature. Count, what a bounty of nature. Look at these plants. Truly, the wealth of the earth knows no bounds. We do not appreciate these simple treasures enough. My options are get back on your horse. We're here for the stork. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we gain stress because we're patient. Fascinating. What's that little flower? Our success chance decreases slightly, but we, we learn some stuff. Avamai could do with these herbs. He's our doctor. We could stock his uh, 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 herb cupboard, which is interesting, especially given that our um, daughter might be getting ill. Uh, but Guillaume gets annoyed because we were like, he was like, look at these beautiful flowers and we're like, my doctor would like them. Uh, yeah. And we can accuse him of witchcraft. <laughs> Great. Um, I think we should take the herbs. I do think that. Yeah, I think it would be nice for our daughter not to die or maybe for our lover's pox to be cured. That would be great. Um I do think that would be that would be good. Where are they going to fight? Hunt under my wing. My party and I stalk forth through a copse, eyes peeled for any sight of a stalk. From the canopy above, a soft twittering spills forth, growing louder as we advance. It is a nestling, screeching for its mother. An agile huntsman brings down a fluffy aeus, an unfledged raptor chick from the birch. What luck! Only young birds caught in the wild can be properly trained to hunt. Huh. Huh. Option one, have it taken back to my muse, and I gain a hunting raptor. My own hunting raptor. Wow. I can give it to Duchess Matilda of Tuscany. Or I can put it back, which gives me 150 prestige and our success chance increases slightly. Well, I want a, I want a hunting raptor. I want a bird. I want a bird. I want a big angry bird. Bird for me, please. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Um, hunting raptor. I'm a duelist. Sick. I'm a melee participant. Count Guillaume's game master signal the party to hush. We have arrived at the release spot. Not too far off, a wedge of white stalks is passing through the sky, their distant calling heralding our sport. 
The party halts as we prepare to remove our birds' hoods and set them one by one to their sport. It is time! Wait, so you so you get these birds and you take off their bird hats and they go kill storks? <laughs> yep. That's crazy. Top to bottom, this is hunting. It's stupid bullshit. That's insane, because then... Because you're not even doing it, at least with when you've got a, you know, a bow, you're killing something yourself. You're just watching it go. Uh, I watch excitedly as my hawk identifies a target and takes wing from its watch soaring high into the air, climbing into position in pursuit of the stork wedge. <laughs> the hawk is doing everything right. The panicking quarry scatter, calling the alarm, but it's too late. Time and again, my hawk swoops in for a kill, but misses, retreats, or only grazes its target. After hours of attempt, the game have all but disappeared. The hawk is near exhausted, and the light is fading. A shame. The hunt fails. Wow. But I got a bird out of it, you know? Yeah, yeah. In that, in that sense, it's a b bigger success than even just getting a stork would have been. Um, the outing delivered the good and the bad in abundance. Donut gathers the disappointed party and exhausted hounds for a trip home. You gained five trade experience in Falconer. Um... And I'm going to lose some stress, which is nice. And everybody gains prestige. Now we all go home. Hooray! Come. Look at us! <laughs> Yay! Hey, we did it! Boys we did night. it, boys! Boys night! Uh, gained three trade experience in Falconer. Uh, gained prestige. Lost some stress. And, 69 uh, stress. 69 stress. It's kind of a lot of stress. Yeah. Finish the hunt. Uh, wait. Especially because all of the the like big stressor things that we had to not to do because of how much stress we had were all like in the fifties. Now we have room to do one stressful thing. <laughs> one one stressful thing. One yes. stressful thing. This is interesting. The regent has furthered the mandate, and the mandate was swell the armies. Uh, every councillor present gained thirty opinion of you. My regency scales of power have changed by five. This was an abuse of power. And it has caused 15 strife with Matilda's peer vassals. Don't fully understand this. I think that's very interesting. So, so we had told Matilda, we had the choice of those three things. We told her to fill the coffers. And she said, actually, no, I will swell the armies. Huh. So that was the abuse of power there. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, it's also worth taking a quick look here. Oh, that's my Discord. Sorry. I'm going to make it stop making that sound right now. Discord, be, be silent. Okay. Um, yes. Okay. All good. Okay. I'm sorry about that. I thought everybody looked at their Discord. Okay, so they're fighting up here. This is... I'm not terribly worried about this. And we've do nearly you, fabricated uh, this claim. Do you hear this this uh, this noise in the, in the background, by the way, Jack? Uh, very distantly, but not significantly. Okay. A fine day like this. The weather is nice, the pastures of Sundgau look great, and the local livestock are positively jumping and cheering in their own guttural manner. Calves are walking next to their mothers, their fur shiny and clean. Overall, the place is competently run, though oh I do God. notice a couple of oddities that I would manage a bit differently. The local matriarch approaches me. A fine morning to you, my lord. Are these beauties not a sight to behold? And our options are, I could apply some of this back home. Jack. 50 Keith. All of them. <laughs> Well, well, no, hold on. There's a chance. So there's a 56% chance our advice is implemented back home and Strasbourg gains improved pastures. There's a 43% chance our advice is completely misinterpreted. We could improve some stuff in Sundgau, which is interesting. Uh, or we could just ignore it, uh, but we gain stress because we're arrogant. I'm going to try and so apply this back home. it's got to be that first one. So, okay, so this is a shame 
because obviously we just lost 69 stress and i'm now realizing that actually we didn't have we had we were still in the critical stress zone which means we had to we had to dip back into stress level zero because we were above one and now this is putting us back above one and we'll, we'll get the new mandate of hey you have to get back below one again in x amount of time or you'll have a meltdown basically right right which uh <laughs> we we yeah we were in stress debt basically right yeah yeah um so, okay we have a we have a, a 56 percent chance that's not the worst yeah, in the world we did great stress bug oh, has some postures that was giving me stress. <laughs> uh, it would be it would be better if we could actually if we had the money to start developing our place. But this is part of why I want more land because more land means more taxes, and you know more taxes means that you can. Right, we hit the random button a few times and never got anything better than account. So we just took account without really looking at what without taking account. Ironically. Uh, oh wait. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and we got this guy with this tiny little, you know, piece of land that has one, uh, one place to build things. In. But we're going to become the Holy Roman Emperor, so it's all good. We have yes. made it home, and we've gained two trade experience in horse. Love horse. Love horse. Ooh. Always have. We got options. Uh, we could go and pay homage to our leech. Nope. Nope. Um, we could petition the liege for something. Nope. And nope. we could create a cadet branch of our culture. Nope. I'm happy with all of those. No, we're not quite being. important enough. No, no, no. It's not yet time to start a rival Poodle Dorg faction. He still believes there is something going on. So he didn't think there was last time, but he might have gotten his teeth uh into something now yeah keep keep going keep going he likes us more than when we started yeah he does. bruno thinks we're pretty great honestly uh i am yeah. a little worried about his uh, deceitful nature but you know yeah hey Sh deceitful people can be loyal hey D mr rogers says that <laughs> yeah he does do we want to join count ulrich's hunt i don't think so I think we're, we, we, we need to focus on being at home right now, you know? Yeah. Also, I think he's, he's at war with or something. He's, he's trying to be independent. How's this war going? Um, it's this guy. Oh, nothing. No change. War score. Bang in the middle. They're they're very evenly matched. They have the exact same amount of troops, basically. Yes, I want them to blunt their swords on each other. Um, King William of England has has fully become English. That's interesting. Wow. It was only uh, a matter of time. Yeah, Normandy no longer exists as we know it. Godfrey von Pudeldorg likes us now. Just. Yeah, uh, he gained 25. Oh, look at that. And Anno's stewardship is going up. That's good. Hey, let's check out uh, the invitation to court. It might be lower now that he has a positive view of us. Oh, now that he likes us. Yes, that's true. I don't necessarily think that we should spend all the money that we have in the world on inviting him to our court. No, it's it's, it's the same, no, it's I think. Still, it's still, still the same. Okay. Okay. But this is about to complete. Yeah. It's funny, he clearly started his own uh, house, but ha is, has no court to call home. No. And I, I just wonder what, and is not married, but does seem seemingly does not want to get married. No, I'm so going to give him his own land eventually. You know, he might get some yeah. gal or something. Right. What's my That's, name? This says? is probably part of his funny point. I'm going to give myself the funniest name and someone will see it and give me land just based on that yes. that's how i'll make my way in this world <laughs> and he's and he's right now we do have to do a bribe of this is great oh, oh. okay ah uh, we should do it yeah yeah we gotta get yeah we the, should do it we gotta do it and, yeah yeah okay debt you're out of gold. This is very bad. You must cut your expenses and try to fill up your treasury as soon as possible. We're not actually losing money, so that's good. 
Uh, being in debt prevents you from doing many things, such as declaring wars or reinforcing men at arms, and will give you county corruption. Do not let your debt spiral out of control. You can ask for gold from your head of faith or borrow gold from a holy order. No. <laughs> oh, actually, I think we should ask for gold from our head of faith. From the Pope? Yes. The Pope will just give you 20 gold every okay. once in a while, and you don't have to pay it back. Okay. Um... How do I do this? I go to uh, You can click on the Pope. <laughs> click on the Pope head. Um, ask for gold. Oh, we're not pious enough. Oh, wow. I'll just... Uh, very, very shame. unlikely. Very unlikely. Okay, so let's... <laughs> <laughs> hey, he must be a good Pope. Must be a good Pope. Yeah, let's must see. Must be a good Pope. If he's oh. a bad Pope, people would want to come right away. Oh. <laughs> so we could use a hook. Oh, yeah! Declare me regent. Do it. Hey, do it. You craven. You chaste craven logistician. Wait! 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 <laughs> this is so odd. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> You're speechless. Why? Why is he gonna do it? Hey, uh, I had a really great time at the tourney. <laughs> you know, I'm glad you didn't kill me there. <laughs> Would you ever want to take over when I'm out of town? Okay, so, so. Any character with a higher succession score than you, which is a lot of people, will lose opinion of him scaling to the score difference. Don't care about that. No. Your mediocre succession score will somewhat offend his nine courtly vassals, causing them to lose 20 opinion of him. Of him. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> this is an abuse of power and will cause 25 strife it's an opinion penalty for the Diarch. That's, we would be the Diarch, I believe. Right. By but Strife isn't opinion. No, Strife occurs when the Diarch uses their borrowed powers or in mandate events as the Diarch does not have the same authority as their leash. Right. <laughs> okay. Now, it costs 500 to... prestige, but we are in a great prestige economy because, because we are yes. a, you know, a steward, Right. Right. Wait, are we a steward? Uh, we are a... Diplomat. Right, right. This is this is what gives us this right. prestige. Yeah. So we yeah. are in a good yeah. prestige place. Right. Now, this is very interesting. Should we do this? I think it... I think that we owe it to ourselves to do this. Yeah. And he's not going out of town right now, but we'll get told when he is. And then you know what we'll do, Keith? Fill the coffers? <laughs> we'll, we will um, just start taking action, I think. Uh, I think so. Great. I'm the regent now. Um, oh, I also wanted gold. <laughs> I wanted gold. Um, hey, now that we're the regent, though, I bet it's a bigger chance. Petition liege. Ooh, shouldn't do that. No. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll get out of the debt in a bit. Yeah. I mean, and we'll get out of the debt in like five months, really. Right, right, right. But we can't go to war until... Well, we shouldn't, we shouldn't go to war anyway, because we would immediately be in debt. Kaiser accepts your sensible proposal. <laughs> oh, this is a very sensible proposal. Oh, I tell you what I should do, actually, is while... Oh, fuck. Um, I would like you to fabricate a claim on Bryce Gow. Um, and let me check. You are doing foreign affairs. That's good. Here's a question. Yes. When we are acting regent. Yes. And as count, 
ask our liege for gold, would we be asking ourselves? <laughs> I don't think we can ask our liege for gold. We 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 don't. Isn't that what we were just doing? I was trying, but um, I don't have an option back. here. Oh, I, I thought that was what was going to we we could do it. Petition your liege for gold. Oh I no, that's what that that's, was. Um. So what that was is uh, um, indecisions. Yeah. Fuck. Activities. Nope. Shit. Sorry. Where is it? I think it was in decisions. Yeah. yeah. Petition liege for a gift or service. Yes, but we have to go there. I believe you travel to. But when we're the when we're the regent, we would be there. That's a great question. I don't know what the game would do. Oh, all of this has gone completely to shit. <laughs> 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 what? What? Who's? What's going on now? Okay, so Rudolph is looking good. Fuck. Although his army isn't super, so I feel pretty good about that. Uh, when you're regent, you'll have some access to some limited new actions. You won't fully take his place. Okay, that's fine. That's about what I expected. I'm so curious to see what his plan is here. He seems to be besieging, besieging this guy's city. Um, um, yeah, yeah, it's definitely what it is. Oh, that's great. Wonderful news. Oh, that's really good news. Excellent. Yeah. Um, I am curious about this menu. I can request a claim. I can petition the Pope to give me, oh, his title. I would get him. <laughs> hey, you know, we'll not accept minus 55. That's not that bad no no i've seen what much 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 higher that's what... only five worse than base and if you control a majority of the counties that are de jure to one of the holy roman empire we can claim it but we don't this this is how we will eventually claim the hre um you know when we when we when we get there right Uh, Double Forte says we also don't have 2k prestige. Also fair. Oh, we would need 2k prestige? Sure. Yeah. Hey, but we only, we all, we just had five, you know, 600 to, to throw away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I don't think it, it's that hard to imagine us in a position to have 2,000. And our money's looking good right now. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, look, you know, now it's zero. We're, we're out of the hole. And um, We're out of the hole. Uh, military strength with our allies is uh, uh, 1,600, which is notable because this guy, the guy we're going to war with, uh, has yeah. a military strength of 370. Can I see our wife's stats? Yes, of course you can. Um, okay. She's I know a that really right, good spy. Yeah, I know that right now we have her as... A, uh, uh, assisting um, on intrigue for the uh, for our spy. Yeah. How do things change if we have that as a balanced instead? Oh, that's a good question. Let's see. Just assist ruler. Yeah. So it doesn't get us any more gold. So it doesn't. That's the only important thing, really. Uh. Well, what about this? It get, this will get us a tiny bit more gold. If she's managing the domain. Right. Um, just 0. 0.1 gold yeah. per month. Yeah. just I think it's just much more effective to have her stay, sticking on intrigue. Uh, oh, because. No. Uh, no? Look, uh, uh, we got accused of claim fabrication because our suffragan bishop is shit. And now we are in a piety debt. Oh, no. And we're losing piety regularly. That cost us all of our money to fabricate that claim. And now they're claiming it's fabricated? <laughs> they're claiming this claim <laughs> is fabricated. <laughs> they're claiming our fabricated claim is fabricated, but I spent so much money fabricating Fuck. that claim. Shit. All right, okay. Uh, you know best. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reassign you into... I want you to find secrets in... Col uh, wait... In Sundgau. 
Yeah. Great. Cool. Um, how do we address this piety debt that we're in? That's a good question. We could. Um, it does not pay to be impious. negative, no. to be impious in this game. Uh, is he fa he's fabricating claims? Is that what he's doing? Yeah, I'm going to turn him off that. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to have him be boosting our piety. You know, now we have just nothing. Oh, it's actually increasing, but so smallly. Oh, we could go on a pilgrimage. Those are really expensive, unfortunately. Yeah. But we could we could do that when we had some money. That's true. That's true. I would like to go to war and God, take... it's funny how limited you are when you're a count versus I know. Uh, Bryce Gow here is much, 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 much... Um, makes us more money than uh, Sundgau. Yeah. But yeah. we have a claim on Sundgau and we don't have a claim on... I uh, think it's got to be... Well, oh, but... Bryskow's not part of a larger area, is it? Uh, no. It is controlled by an independent ruler? I mean, it's obviously still under... The HRE, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the HRE. Oh, but he's got so many troops. Oh, my God. How many troops does he have? Whoa! 2,200. Yeah. Holy shit. Maybe we kill this guy and see what happens. Oh, Louis being... <laughs> Louis has been uh, captured. Oh, well, hey, maybe it's the time to go to war on this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's absolutely my plan. Although, although, it's possible that that this place is now about to be run by the 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 Rudolph. You know, we don't necessarily want that. Yeah. I'm gonna see how this war shakes out. You know, what's this yeah. guy's heir? Oh, right, it's his marshal. Which is not a good position to be in. And who's that? <laughs> That's his wife who's in jail for some reason. No, no. <laughs> Sorry, I meant the baby. Oh, oh, what baby? His heir, his heir. The heir, the, yeah, the heirs. Oh, this is Herman von Zarigan, one. Okay. Oh, nuts. Look at this. What? Okay, what, ha what happened? What, what just happened, happened Tell me what just happened. What? Are you oh, still he's out of jail. War? Yeah, the war ended, but. The war ended. He's out of jail. How many troops does he have? Oh, he has 518 troops. Kill him. No, he has he has a lot of allies. Look. Oh. Hmm. Ooh, but are any of their allies also our allies? Hubold of Nordlingen and Sophia the Disgraced. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, no. And how many do we have? What, what are our what are our allies military? So small. Eleven twenty nine. Ours is small. Okay. Yeah, the thing I hmm, I want to break up this alliance. We could so if we killed Count Louis, those alliances vanish. Well, some of them do. Uh, no, it, we would then be in trouble because she is married to this guy, the fucking Bertolt. Oh, okay. Hmm. But I, I don't know if Bertolt can, uh, I don't know if it works that way where he'll join the war just because they're married. They the will way if they're counts, allied, right? The way that count dukes interact with the count level wars is very bizarre, and I've never really gotten a handle on it. But they seem to not be allowed to get involved. Like, by... I think it depends know, on the crown authority, right? On, on different levels of crown authority. Yeah, yeah. What if... Why does this guy not like us? Oh, because we fabricated the claim. Right, 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 yeah. right. I think that we should... I think we should pick a path now. One victim, one county. Yeah. To focus on. Ah, uh, it's. Hmm. My spies have informed me about a hunter causing a. Wait. 
a ruckus at the local tavern. The woman has been spending large amounts of gold and bragging loudly about the great deal she struck with a fancy lord in pearls and silk. Apparently she drew a map of the local plains for an unknown nobleman. The spies think the lord must be scheming against me or one of my subjects. Is this Elizabeth, the fucking <gasps> knight we... Yes. Yeah, she's angry. This is yep. Elizabeth. It's Elizabeth. Oh my god. Wow. Well, what do we want to do? Do we want to... We can lock her up. We can. She won't like us, but she'll be in prison. <laughs> right. It doesn't really matter what the people in your dungeon think of you. Did we do it? Did we just lock her up? We did. We did. Okay. Why can we declare war on Duke? Oh, why can we declare war on Duke Rudolph of Swabia? Why? Let's see. Click to view. Our claims. Oh, on Sun Gao. Okay, so if we were to go for Sun Gao, that's who it would be through. It would be through the Duke, not through the Count. And we have more soldiers than he does. Our, it said that our, sorry, they're, huh. It said that they had a stronger army than ours, though, just a second ago. It did, didn't it? He has zero allies. It's the allies. It's counting our allies. Why does he have no allies that would come to war with him? Because. Wow. Because he played the game bad. Oh, the Count has allies, but the Duke Psst. doesn't. No, the Duke has... The Duke has an alliance with Count Friedrich of Ravensburg. Maybe it. Maybe it, they wouldn't be able to join the war. Because they were in another war? Or because of some conflict. Like some conflict of interest. Oh, that's his vassal. So the vassals can't join the war. This is the weirdness that I was talking about. It's, I think I just probably had it flipped. His vassals can't join the war. So basically, we would control Sun Gao, but the Count actually can't be directly involved in the war. Is that what's going on, chat? That's so weird. Um, Let's, I think we should save it and do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. My question here is, if we were to declare war... All oh, right, we would be going to war with the person with the top level. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to save the game. Wow. Okay, fine. Caps lock was on. What's this place called? Um, Magic Spell says, careful here because you might not have enough prestige to call the allies. Uh, that's a good point. So that's, that's a good uh, reason to save it right now. Yeah, but worth a fucking try. We have a we already have 133 prestige. Okay, now. So, okay. Um, we had last time we picked up benevolent intent, sway scheme, power, um, monthly prestige per powerful vassal on the council. We don't have any powerful vassals right now, so I don't think that's terribly Correct. useful to us. Heart Firm of the hand, family means that? they like us. Monthly prestige per dread. We don't have that. Okay. Uh. We can use the befriend scheme. This might be interesting for Bruno. Close family opinion plus 15. And our wife. Yeah. What's the one below it? What would be thicker than water? Personal scheme success chance 25% against family members. That's interesting. I think, unfortunately, I think the family hierarch um, isn't as useful as August or Diplomat generally. I think I, think I agree. Let's see. What is... Oh, the ducal conquest, ducal conquest is, is going to be important. Great. Yep. Yeah, let's get thoughtful. Okay, ducal and conquest. Sorry, what was what did thoughtful get get us? Uh, it means we can around? send people gifts. <laughs> okay, great. Okay. Oh, I'll make a save again, so I don't have to do that. Uh, that, that is true. The chat is saying that befriend is so useful. That is true. Befriend is very good, but uh, um, it's also it's also gettable. Like whenever you know. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, I didn't choose the cast of Spotlight. <laughs> yeah. um, I want the contested title. I want Sundgao. This is 90 prestige. This is fucking nothing to us. We're very prestigious. I'll accept that we do have to call our allies to war. Hmm. How do I do that? Ah, call to war. Well, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe we should just wait a little bit before going to war. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, okay, fine, 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 fine. It's a fish stream. Say a fish dream? Yeah, well, in KB and my um, Crusader Kings, we had an arc where we <laughs> we had, like, a really elaborate fish dinner that made everybody ill. Like, <laughs> like really ill. And then uh, we, we shortly after that went into a war that we lost really badly and then loaded a save saying that it was a hallucination brought about by <laughs> the really bad fish dinner. That's very funny. Uh, yeah, so we should now, our, our ally that doesn't like us and won't go to our war, we should uh, sway that guy. Yep, we absolutely should. Uh, this is Count William. Why do you not like me? He's annoyed with me. Because of the fucking flowers. I took the flowers. Oh my god, it's the flowers. Oh no. Oh, well, okay, so this is good because that we know that that's got a time limit. That'll just go away. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. So we'll sway, and then we'll new, lose another 20 or 30 because because that is just a temporary thing. This means that we will stop uh, swaying Gottfried von Poodledog. <laughs> that's fine. He's pinned. Yeah, that's true. Uh, when Keith says he's pinned, uh, he means there's a menu up here where we can keep an eye on characters specifically. Um, okay. Oh, is again. Popo not pinned? Yeah, Popo is fully pinned. Look. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There he is. There he is. The young Do Popo. Doing well up there. Well done, Popo. Okay, and we c I can just sort of let this war sort of work itself out, hopefully. Yeah. Keith, can you explain why his vassals aren't allowed to be in the war? Um, yes. It is a, it is a basically, it's a low crown level thing uh, where essentially the duke does not have enough power to say you have to fight for me because I am your liege. Right. It's the duke's responsibility at that point. It's right. like, well, you know, if you want to keep that as part of your territory, you have to fight on my behalf, says the count to the duke. Right. Yeah. Uh, and and because it's because the 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 reasoning is that the duke's armies are all made up of levies from the counts anyway. So right. they're like, that is already, we've already given you what we're going to give you. Right, 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 right. Uh, Duke Boudouine of Flanders has announced to the world that he and his vassals have converted to Mandanism. Um, wow. And they uh, don't like it. And uh, neither do I. What twisted mockery of the fate <laughs> is this? Is everybody at war currently sort of? Yeah, there's a lot. There's a yeah, lot of war sort happening. Of everybody's at war. I'm glad that we are too insignificant for them to bother with us. We're so we're so small. Duke Duck. We Duke. are we are in the so, we are in a county right now that if you were a king, you would um realize that it's taking up a county slot and then just give it to someone who's mad at you. <laughs> yes. You absolutely That's the would. level. <laughs> Um, I'm going to learn about cultures on a, at a later date. I think that when we yeah. start getting into cultures... It's so funny that he says he has a stronger army than you. Oh, yeah. It's because they're comparing the allies. No secrets in Count Louis' court. Mm. Keep looking. Yeah, we can, we, we can afford one more keep looking. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I'm glad that we are swaying... Um, William, about the flowers. Yeah. Uh, while we're there, let's check in with our 
family. Please, Guillaume, our daughter was sick. Beautiful Heilvig. And, it, and those flowers maybe saved her. Yeah. Uh-huh. Truly. But I wanted to look at them. Bullshit. Uh, what are her memories? She has no memories. What are my memories? Hey, do do all of our children have guardians? Um, I, I remember us looking at guardians for one of our kids, but I don't know if we've done that for everyone. Heilvig's guardian is Avamai. Yeah. Um, this little guy, Anno, does not have a guardian. Um, and his guardian shall be... Ooh, eight steward. He's almost... He's a better steward than we are right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> As a four-year-old boy. Whoa. <laughs> um... God. So we want Yeah, dad's bad with money. We, we want to encourage this little guy's stewardship, I think. Yeah. Uh the other the thing is I'm not sure what the um I'm not sure what like how they calculate um traits from guardians if you if you would be better off with someone with a medium stewardship but a high learning. Oh, I, sure. Or the other way around, if we just want to make sure they're... Uh, but I think that you're right to find them someone with good Like Agnes is a good steward. Agnes is probably our best option here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then little Grunden. Oh, Double Four just said learning is what matters. But oh. I don't know if that's true. That's just one person. Well, let's do, let's do it this way. Let's have Grunden... Whoops. Didn't mean to click that. Let's have Grunden... Be with the smartest available person. Yeah, I fucked that up twice in, in a different way each time. Um, the smartest available person is Suffragan Bishop in Inishon. Oof, that's not looking good. <laughs> no, but he's still <laughs> very smart, is he? No, he's not. He's not. Um, well, let's try it, you know. Yeah. I, I would say, you know, not terrible, but just one better than average. Yeah. Um, a faction has been created against Kaiser okay. Heinrich the Fourth, the Palabian Slo Slovianskan populists. Okay, are targeting. So Kaiser we have Heinrich. a quote from from Lacking Sanity: "The skill of the guardian in the education focus is twice as important as the learning trait. The exact weightings are 0.4 for the skill modifier and 0.2 for the learning skill modifier." Okay. That makes sense to me. So the the Anno's education focus right now is stewardship. Yeah. And Grunden's education focus is baby. Well, let's let her develop a little and see. see. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. She hasn't had that like early uh, like a, a early life event yet. No, that that will that will. Oh my god, what the fuck is going on over here? <laughs> you you just sort of have to tune it out, you know. I would like the, the different wars. You mean? Yeah, yeah. Everything yeah, yeah. that is sort of going on. This is this is what All I'm interested in. All the purple in. and the yeah. lime, the stripy lines. Yeah. Why is Kalmar now at war? Again. They're fighting Duke Gerhard. And losing. Yeah, Bishop Udo, Prince Bishop Udo of Trier, who runs Trier, which is up here. He's in some sort of a faction with Herman of Colmar mm. and Siegfried of Worms. And they are fighting Duke Gerhard of Upper Lorraine, who runs the whole fucking deal. And Mactelt Dorvedokter of Dockham. <laughs> okay. Um, I think, you know, the lesson of the HRE is, you know, keep your head down. Yep. Don't be going to war all the time. But... You know, strike while the iron's hot. Absolutely. Get in there when it's actually time to to go to war. And fucking go for it. Yeah. Oh my god. When they're all weak, they've exhausted themselves. Worms carpet. A plush, vibrant, and a plush carpet, vibrant and soft, arrives as a gift from Count Siegfried. Of worms. Why would he send me such an exquisite gift? I do not know. But the fine weave of the carpet is as pleasing to the touch as the skin 
of a lover. Spy carpet. I know a spy carpet when I see one. The carpet will cover the floors in my rooms. You gain plush and exotic carpet for 10 years. Monthly prestige, plus 20%. Hostile scheme resistance, negative 10%. Uh, I think I better get rid of it. You gain 15 money, and you gain extra vigilant for 10 years. And we need that money right now, too, so that's a, that is a bonus. Sorry, Siegfried. Wait, I've oh. played this game before, so I know that you always give someone that you want to kill a plush carpet. A plush hey, carpet. Hey, baby in jail. Uh, <laughs> my nephew. Heinrich. <laughs> He's my nephew. Which There's means, nothing funnier than that image from both CK2 and 3 <laughs> of babies behind bars. It is very funny. He is yeah. my brother's son. My brother has gone off and is running... Wait, my fucking brother? What? Okay, I don't fully grasp of this. My brother is unlanded, but he's out Count Sigurd's court, and he has he's allied to Count Sigurd, possibly by marriage. Yes. I think we did that. <laughs> we might have done that. Anyway, his son was there, and then his son went in jail. <laughs> Why? <laughs> On what charge, your highness? Too small. Too small. The crime of being a little boy. Too much of a little baby. Hold on. Elizabeth died. Oh, in our dungeons. <laughs> hey, congratulations. Ring the bell. That's the first time that someone that we forgot was in our dungeons died in the dungeons. <laughs> but that make, make that one. Uh, and my wife's pregnant again. Let's, uh, hey, if I remember, uh, the, you'll notice a little one tally go up on the VOD of this. If you're watching the VOD. <laughs> if I remember. If you remember. Um... Our fame has risen. That's good to know. Uh, and Count Guillaume has been swayed. And also, we're at war. Our liege is at war. Okay, hang on. I'll deal with that in a fucking second. What? <laughs> My fame is reputable. Uh -huh. That's good. Yeah. Right. Now... Oh, no. My, my fame is distinguished. This means I can have one more night and people tend to like me. That's very good. Why? Oh, God. Okay. Okay. So, what has happened here? <laughs> Is that... King Salomon of Hungary... And his ally, the Kaiser of the HRE... Have gone to war against Prince Geyser, the Honest of Hungary... And two of his guys. Is the honest an official position? <laughs> the honest of Hungary. And, <laughs> and, okay, I can't even pass this because, because what's happening here is Princess Ilona has a claim on the kingdom of Hungary. I think what has happened is this guy is the ruler of Hungary and his son... Or he has some claimed, pretenders. Some pretenders. Some pretenders are claiming Hungary. So the king of Hungary has wrapped us up in, in a the war, war. to yes. defend against the pretenders. But we will not be doing that war. No, sir. No, indeed. No, they can't make us do. Abs, they can't make us do. We are involved in our own deal. This is interesting. Colmar might change hands, which might change, uh, you know, how that might go. Yeah. Hey, what's up with that seven months of oh, being raided? We're being raided. By Duke Casper. Who is raid who are they raiding? Are they raiding someone else or are they raiding us? They're raising raiding the Kaiser. Okay. Over here. And I and I essentially I don't care about that. No, I will if they come and cause me problems, but I don't care about that right now. Yeah. I'll care about that once uh, I'm acting regent. Okay. We have, however, learned that Melisande de Saint Jean, a courtier of Count Louis is a witch. Wow. That's fucked up. I actually hate witches right now. Are you having some witch? Until it's, until it's fine to be a witch, I hate witches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't stand them. Um, he is away at war 
right now, and his regent is in charge, a man called Terry. <laughs> now, the way Crusader Kings works is that we could try and kill this guy and then uh -huh. rope in the witch courtier. Melisande. Oh, because it's a secret, right. We could hook. Right, right, right. We could, you know, blackmail her and say, you know, you're a witch and we'll get a strong hook on her. Um, yeah. Which is interesting. Um, and in fact, we should just get the hook now. Yeah, just get it now. And now we have that hook. Yes, we can use that to help with an assassination plot or something like that. You know, that's that's good to me. She is on the... I don't know where she is right now. Oh, no, she's in Sun Gao. So we could use that, for example, to kill this regent. Wait. Wait. Hedvig's very existence is an insult to the name of our glorious dynasty. My kinswoman is an utter disappointment in everything that she tries to accomplish. Option one, perhaps I can make something out of her. Okay. Option two, sometimes one must prune the tree. Option three, we all have our shortcomings. Hedwig is a... Sadistic, trustworthy, or trusting? But she's all the way up here. Uh, trusting, yeah. Trusting. She's all the way up here. I'm not... I don't... We don't... I'm not important. I'm <laughs> what is the what is the what are the uh, the gain 100 diplomacy lifestyle experience is one of Hedvig's skills will increase or the dynasty loses 100 renown don't care about that only gain you gain 12 stress that's not we would terrible. gain that stress either way we gain that stress even if we say we all have a shortcomings uh no no we gain that stress uh whether this oh, outcome okay, or that okay, outcome okay. happens so I think that we should give that a little bit of consideration. We can handle the 12 stress. It's one of the only amounts of stress we can handle. Uh, and the 100 li uh, experience points is not bad. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Hey. 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 Oh, that's excellent. Look at that. Very happy with that. And and we did gain that stress. What are, what are we at now? Like 95? 96. Stress? Yeah. 96. Yeah. Uh, All right, no, so we will have to book. do something about that. Like, if it crops up, we will just have to be like, whatever it says, lose stress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Why is they now besieged? What is happening here? I don't know. What is happening? Why is Zurich fighting these guys? Sundgau in crisis. Sundgau, it's in crisis. All right, this is this holy war here. Sundgau, everybody. <laughs> Sundgau, everybody. It's in crisis. Although his soldiers are very bad right now. So we could conceivably... Like, he has 500 soldiers and we have potentially 2,000. It's not a bad idea to go to war while another and it is war. Now, had, now our fortunes have flipped, essentially. We had no gold, and he had like 40 gold. Now it's like 61 and 10. Right. Um, not a bad idea. Not a bad idea to go soon. Let's make a save. He's currently being raided, and we don't. I don't think... No, he's not being raided. He's in another war. <laughs> oh, he's in a different war. Oh, who is he at war with? And what, he's what at war their... with Zurich. <laughs> what does Zurich want? <laughs> what does Zurich want? Because if it's Sundgau, then I don't want to be at the receiving end of Zurich. Uh, Bertold of Zurich, who is from... Oh, fuck. Whoops. Okay, not worried about either of those wars. Oh, Zurich wants the whole duchy. Nope. Misclicked. Ah, fuck. Okay, hold on. I'm in fucking hell. Okay. Right. Bertold has a claim on the Duchy of Swabia. Yeah. And is about to get it. Yeah. So what happens when that 
when he wins is that our war will be nullified. Oh, sure. Huh. But it's possible that we could declare war, get in, get out so fast that it still makes sense to do. That he could hold off Zurich for just long enough for us to take the county. And then if we could win, then we win. Then we've I got think- it. And, there, and there's, there's no... Uh, uh, there's no Duke left to be mad at us. Uh, let's play it out. Yeah, let's play it out. Let's see what happens. I don't think we are going to... It might be one of the cases where we declare war and we just get 50 war score automatically because he's in such a bad spot. Yeah. Let's see what happens. But there's all of these people on Sundgau right now. Oh, what the fuck, buddy? Oh, so close. It's fine. It might it might just tick upwards like uh, by one a month enough to call him. Yeah. Yeah. Let's wait one month and then then check again and we can bribe if not. Okay. Send a gift, says Yuri Runnel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is one of our allies. So let's go, let's go, uh, the, what is that? What are these other two holdings that are in Sundgau? Mul- yeah, let's. Uh, Mulus. I've been to Mulus. What the fuck? <laughs> wow, you're about to siege your old stomping grounds <laughs> of Mulus. <laughs> Okay. And we currently don't have the prestige, but that's fine. We'll our prestige, you know. Oh my god, we have a son. Wow. Victor, shall, very uh shall, very symbolic. He shall be called Malus. After the battle. <laughs> After the battle you that grow I was fighting. To be strong and wise, Malouz. My son, my beautiful Malouz. My beautiful baby Malouz. Where's my other army coming from? The guys I can... Up there, up top, I think. Whoa, Count Bertolt got excommunicated. Wow. Why are we not besieging? Why are we not besieging this place? Hmm, I don't know. Are there not enough of us? Mm-hmm. Don't feel Maybe good about- Maybe it's already been besieged? Let's do, let's go to the bishop brick then. Oh yeah, you can only siege places that ha- are like cities you can't siege i was trying to uh, siege that city sorry sorry not you, you can only siege like uh uh castle holders. oh interesting right 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 so i'm just gonna sit here where is my other army the other army is count sigurd's army so i am looking for which one of these wars down at the bottom is it the zero percent or the thirty percent the zero percent unfortunately okay. is there an easy way to get that army the blue guy Oh, it's this guy. Yep. It's this army of Kaiserslautern. They're on their way. Okay. Oh, they're leaving. Who are leaving? Oh, no. Sorry. When you were zoomed out, it looked like the people that were sieging were going to leave the, I uh, thought the city. I, I thought that it looked similar. Oh. Oh, no. That's the Hungarian war. <laughs> I want to see how... I want to see how this stupid war with the people in Zurich is going. Not great. A little better than it was a second ago, though. Yeah, a little better. So when they siege that and then leave, can we go re-siege it? 
We might be able to, yeah. Grunton is doing well. That's great. Wow. Way to go, Grunton. And way to go, uh, average court physician. Why are these guys fighting over there? I want them to come and help me. Yeah. We spent 75 renown for that. Guys. It's very frustrating. It's very funny when you when, during the war the uh, the checking on of their places. It's Blur City in the the screen. Oh, share. is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, it's allies! A new kind of fog of war. Oh, that arrow isn't is just showing where they're from. They might have gotten called into the bigger war. I think they did get called into the bigger war, and I don't understand why they wouldn't listen to me, a fucking nobody from Strasbourg. <laughs> well, they have we they have our brother. That's true. I, that's that true, means Keith. something. That does mean something, Keith. You're right. How is this siege gonna end? Uh, double four days. Seas get degrees. Yeah, they do. Seas do get degrees. Zurich is about to take Montbayard, and then the war is going to end. This is absolutely how it's going to go. Yeah, we just sat there with our armies waiting to... Hey, let's... Uh, what happens if we try to stay on the same spot? Oh. Okay, now it's our turn to go over there. <laughs> we took... We sieged this. Now, where are they going? I guess that war is not quite done yet. No, no, no. It's it is not quite done. It's hard to take a whole uh, a whole city. Okay, we don't have enough. Well, we'll do it, but it won't be great, right? Add better siege men at arms to finish the war faster, right? We don't have any men at arms. Create men at arms regiments. Of... I wish we do have one man at arms regiment. We could spend all our money on some onages. <laughs> How about mercenaries? Mm. No, we can't afford any mercs. Okay. All these names are so good. Um, yeah. It's going to take 19 months. All right. Teutonic let's... Brotherhood. Let's get some siege weapons. Okay. I mean, I think this is not a good war. I don't think we are... <laughs> no, this is a bad war. We didn't take our advice of striking when are the irons hot. No, we did not. Um, but you, you, play the, you play the hand you're dealt, right, Keith? Right. And you save the hand you're dealt for when the hand that you think you're dealt was wrong. Right, right, right. Exactly. Um... How do I raise these? Ah, here we go. Full strength in five months. Why did it say full strength in five months? Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I'll send some onages in. Yeah. Let them... Uh... Onage. Let them onage. This is, and you know, this city's already been sieged, so it's not like, um... Well, you'd think that, but they do seem, uh, normal. Supplies fully stocked, walls intact. <laughs> yeah, fair. Yeah. I Maybe that's what happens after the Zorikians. The Zurichians? The, the, the Zurichians. The people from uh, Zurich? Yeah, they go, they siege, they say, okay, here's here's food and supplies. Yeah, and then they, and then they <laughs> and leave. Bye. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get befriend here. Useful to have. Yeah. Um, we're very close to being able to afford to call our other allies. What is this? I'm going to play chess with Gottfried von Pudeldork. Ah, Excellent. Friendly game? Oh, we gain stress. 
Well, it's a possible outcome. No, no, I think that that's de that is definitely going to happen. If you win the wager, you lose 13 stress. Godfrey likes us. Godfrey gains stress. If you if he wins the wager, he likes us. He loses stress and we gain stress. Oh, so gotcha, it's, it's gotcha, if we... gotcha. Who's smarter? Did we check his stats? Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. Gottfried von Pudeldorf takes his seat opposite me. Our little game of chess is about to begin and a competitive grimace tells me exactly how confident my guest is. He goes first opening with several well-executed adaptive strategies. We're neck and neck, though neither of us is even close to victory. I've studied chess extensively, explains my opponent, and I'm sorry to say that by this point I simply don't think there's any way for you to win. Oh right, he is very clever, isn't he? He's like, extremely good across the board. Yeah. My martial mind makes me unbeatable. In chess, martial is countered by intrigue. So we shouldn't do that because his intrigue is... No, his... What's his weakest skill? Intrigue. Intrigue. You'll never see is my moves true? coming. Where does it say in chess martial? Uh, uh, here but... at the top. Okay. Um, well, what's our What's our intrigue? It's a martial challenge. We oh, would counter. Oh, oh, countered by. And what okay, is I our martial? Misunderstood. Eight. Eight. You'll never see my so moves coming. Our intrigue beats their intrigue. Beats and beats their learning. Uh, what's his learning? Learning is like 16 or something? 15. 15. And our intrigue is like 22, 22. right? Yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Our march matches on, Godfrey continuing with a few well-worn traditional tactics. Naturally, my techniques cunningly foil my opponents. I'm in the lead for now. By St. Catherine limits, lam, lam, oh my God, laments my opponent. Do you think I gave you too many openings? I wasn't expecting to lose so badly so soon. A strong sword arm is a strong die arm. Innocent whistling, you think you can outthink me. Uh, we're going to intrigue him again. Yeah. Godfrey continuing with an obvious trap. Blast it. Some of this man manages to counter every stratagem. It takes a subtle mind to play chess. What is thinking uh, countered by? Marshall. Oh, a... Okay. And his marshal is 15. So really the only thing that we can do is keep trying to win by... But he keeps uh, spotting us. Oh! Although we did win. Because we're arrogant, we can't be nice to him. And in fact, right. the option here is we just... <laughs> Bow before me, you bam pot. And he hates it. Uh, this makes us more witty, but we gain a bunch of stress. Okay. This gives us a ton of stress because we're arrogant, but it's very likely that Gottfried von Pudeltorg makes an obscene gesture and leaves. <laughs> I think that we've just got to insult him. Uh, this is the beginning of our villain arc with Gottfried von Pudeltorg. Wait, what happens to this one? Or result? Uh, go closer to forming a rivalry. Ah, I mean, really, we don't want to make this guy a rival, right? Do, do we do we just go critical? It was going to happen anyway, and honestly, gaining 23 stress, it, we could go critical on a roll on a roll where we gain like 60 stress, and that would be even worse. Right. Because because then our sort of critical uh event that we get where we get lose some stress would be more severe. Right. Okay, an excellent match. Okay, yep, as predicted. Okay. Option one, off to the brothel. Option two, gain the trait drunkard, cancel plans. I think off to the brothel. We know how this goes. Yeah, yep. No secrets in Count Louis' court. Wow. Okay, look, you come back here and disrupt my schemes. That's the way to do it. <laughs> ah. Uh, and then eventually just having a breakdown because I was nice to someone. Classic. <laughs> 
While hosting lords and ladies from near and far, some opportunities to portray Count William of Bonsoncon, the man, uh, our ally, who we want to like us more, in a good light, have presented themselves. My lord, pray tell, who is the most noble person you've heard of? It's Count William, although that costs 75 prestige, which we can't afford if we also want him. Yeah, let's just lose the stress. It's me. Oh, and we can use this prestige to buy the, buy the thing. We can, yeah. Let's see how this goes with the five onagers. Okay. Oh, hey, look at that. It worked. Massive improvement. Right. Eight months of improvement. Yeah, something like that. Uh, and how's the war going? Oh, it does look like his capital is being besieged. <laughs> it does good. look that way. It does. No, not good. Um, Let's I think it's time to invite now. Okay. Invite now. Invite now. Yes. We'll accept. And we have the prestige wow, for it. beautiful. Brill. <laughs> Our foe shall learn to fear the man of Bon Sancon. Where are you coming from, my friend? Oh, here. Hey, we, we didn't even need to say that this guy was uh, better than us. <laughs> Just no, no, to, no, to we didn't. Invite him. It's worked out very so well we, to us. we had our cake in 82, famously possible thing to do. That's, the, that's how the rhyme goes, yes. Yep, have your cake and eat it too. Famously possible thing to do. <laughs> and now we're all fighting together. We're going to be done in eight months-ish. Yeah. He's not very good at sieging, but you know. Did he join actually? Yeah, he's here. Oh, he is there. Look at that. I don't think he's begun sieging yet. I don't know. I wish it would it's tell hard me. To tell. Yeah, who's yeah. involved, but. I think he is sieging and just doesn't have the right troops. The right guys. Yeah. Look at our five low quality onagers. <laughs> He'll be useful if things break bad and what is this? Yeah. Oh they 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 surrendered. Okay. This is gonna be done in three months. This is gonna be done in four months. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Maybe we should have let our onagers finish developing. Ooh, well, um, but then that would have cost time, right? Yeah. It's fine. It'll it'll be over soon, and we'll see if this was all for naught or. We could try assaulting the fort. Look, twenty five days oh, left. Twenty five days. Wow. We're losing some men, but that's what the men are for. Crusader kings. Yeah. <laughs> That's what the men are for. Look at that. Look at this. It's once we got those walls down. The honor just did it. Okay, Duke Berthold has won against Count Ulrich of Pula for the Corinthian de Jure War for the Duchy of Crane. Okay, fine. Okay. Okay. 20. 21%. <laughs> right, because we're at war with him. Right, not with this. No, count. but we did capture Count Louis' son, Thierry, and his knight, Melisande. She's the witch <laughs> during the siege of. <laughs> 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 Who is. Okay. Which one is Count Louis? Oh, he's oh, the Count Count's Louis the guy. son. Oh, right. Okay, now he's, he's in jail. <laughs> Can we have <laughs> this county? Bro, you're in jail. You're fully in jail. Could we please have the county? What is the enforced demands thing? Like, uh, if we will not accept, um, does it give us... Base reluctance. Minor base reluctance. 99 base reluctance. Wowie zowie. Okay, right. Oh, here's what I'm going to do. Who's in my jail? Where is my jail? Prisoners. You, I will ransom. For, oh, I want to ransom you for money, but. That's the gold button. 
Oh, now we're at war. We are still at war. But with a different person. Right. The war has been won. Okay, the this is been won. very interesting. So, Count Rudolf has been deposed. And my kinsman, Duke Bertold, is now in charge. The why evil is, zealot. Why is he our kinsman? But he doesn't have a lot of soldiers. Let's look at the uh, let's look at the war page. He has eight hundred and five. My goal is still the same. Wow. Wow. Didn't Same. happen. It worked out the way I thought it would. But yes, it did Same. fully work out. It did fully work out. I think we've got to go uh, raid the the, uh, the duchy now. The duchy of Zurich. Right. Yeah. Well, I was going to. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I meant the, uh, the capital of Swabia. Which is. The one that's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Where? Oh, this I one here. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and we should be being supported by the First Army of Bonsancon. And uh, uh, does this guy have any allies? He does, but all his allies are very weak. Yeah. And may not be in this war. Yeah, totally. Um, okay, okay. Right. This I is the most improbable war. I know. A count with nothing going up against, uh, you know, two big dukes. With nothing but their brother's wife's army <laughs> <laughs> and five catapults. Oh my god. Okay, negotiate release. No, he can stay in the jail. Melisande, I do actually want to release because I have a hook on her. Right. You don't have to, you can just hit. Negotiate, yeah, yeah, we'll accept. The money button for um, the, the Count's son we could hit if we wanted the money. No, we couldn't. Um, we can't oh, ransom him that... for money. Look. Oh, maybe his uh, liege has for no a money. Hook. That's for it. A hook, wow. Oh, look, they're besieging that city again. Besieged back and forth. Who are, are we at war with them? Should we send uh, someone to kill them? We can't. Um, we can't send anyone to kill them. Our, the only army we can actively control has 381 has strength. nothing, yeah. Uh, what happens if we assault fort? The walls are intact right now. We need our siege weapons to break the walls down before we But can. we don't have siege weapons. Uh, we do. We do have siege weapons. We have no, the mangoes. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, the honor. I thought they think they're gone. No, no, here they are. Oh, okay, okay. And what is the, oh, the uh, progress, they're making no progress on Sundgau. No, they are not, because they're 15 months. They're not in a good place, I don't yeah. think. Yeah, That's their only army, I think. Um, yes, I think you're right. So if we, if we capture this, and it doesn't go full war score, we can maybe try and maneuver our allies to go attack them directly. We can, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, the, it's worth saying that I think that the ruler is here. I think he's actually in... Oh, no, he's he's fighting in Sun Gao. Okay. Okay. God, Keith, if only uh, we had hey, a claim on Zurich. Did we lose Strasbourg? Nope. Oh, it's got... It's got... It's... Oh, it's... No, the, that's Kalmar. Thing, oh, yeah. Kalmar. Yeah. Um, Panther Grace says, I'm learning a, a lot of pronunciation today. It's all funny. wrong. <laughs> I don't think it's all wrong. I think, I think a lot of it's right. Yeah, you can nominally speak French. Yeah, I can nominally speak French. And you can slightly better than nominally speak French. No, no, no. Nominally. No? Just nominally. nominally? Okay. We have two nominal French speakers here. Don't need those. Don't want that. 
Don't want that. Don't want that. There's an election in the HRE. No. Vote. <laughs> Vote Gerhard. <laughs> He's at war for some reason. <laughs> because he has a real claim. He oh, has a real oh, claim yeah. on Sundgau. That's what they say about his claim. Three cheers for Gerhard. A bit. A Strasbourg upon Strasbourg and his <laughs> legitimate war. Roman statue says two nominal French speakers in pre-Germany. Oh my god, our house had died. Now we're in charge. We are the head of wow. house at Conan. See, this is why we didn't want to make a cadet branch because... Right. Because now we're the head. Yeah. The mighty head. All right, we're in. War score, 65. 65. Hey, let's check. Enforced demands probably no, but might as well check. We'll not accept. Okay. All right, we're getting close. Let's, let's go try and kill, let's let's try and kill, kill them. Him. Yeah. You will lose decisively, but that's because our other guys aren't coming with us. Yeah. Hey, do you want to make a do you want to make an adjunct save? Oh no, they're coming with us now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Mid-war. <laughs> it is so Crusader Kings to be like I need to get into a small war with Strasbourg, and then you suddenly realize that you're at war with Zurich for like, oh, oh they're, they're trying away. to do the old they're shuffle. Cowards. The old shuffle, but they can't beat us. We know Sundgau like the back of our hands because, of, hey, you should change where you're going or you'll go to the wrong spot. Oh, no. <laughs> guys, guys. <laughs> My strategy, I always just click to that where their arrow is. Is Oh, yeah, true. Sort of meet them there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, but they're a higher tier. But it doesn't matter. How could, did you tell they were a higher tier? Oh. Uh, the stars, the, the three, they have three. We have now equally three silver and they oh, have four gold. So like they're higher tiered units wait until the end. Right, right, It takes right. the average of all your units. So our average unit was only two tier at the time. Wow, 80%, 86? I can't tell, it's very blurry. 86, we 86. captured Gerhild, the knight of Duke Berthold. Okay, <sighs> so that's good. Yeah. And now we just have to chase down the stragglers. Nope, he won't do it. Where's my army? Maybe our first war crime, technically? Where is my army? We may not have an army presently. <laughs> our whole army might have uh, died in that fight. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> But it's fine. We can raise them again once we, we go to the Marshall page. Um, Wait, no, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Let's okay. see. My second army of Strasbourg is here. Okay. It's possible they're just moving and it's af right after the war, so it's being a little weird. And the game's paused. That's it. That's why. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. Fuck them up. Fuck them up. Get them. Uh, I'm going to open my window and open my door and grab a seltzer, actually. I'll oh, right nice. Back. I'll just keep this running and let you know how it goes. <laughs> oh, something I do want to see is if we can ransom Gerhild. Wow, she cannot be ransomed because Duke Berthold would not accept this. Which she's Duke Berthold's... Oh, she's just like a lady. Alright, let's negotiate this release. Mm. Nope, she can stay. She can stay. Wait, wait! Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, now I have to wait for Keith to get back. Bruno got fucking married. All right, all right, hold on. 
All right. I'm back. A lot has happened, Keith. It's not wow, great. Wow, for real? Oh no. So we captured this lady, she's just like a like a lady not important to Bernard. Then our alliance with Guillaume expired because Guillaume has died. But we do have an alliance with Baron Reyno. His um uh, uh, his successor who doesn't okay. care much for us right but the alliance it still exists and the soldiers are still up yes yes countess okay. ermintrude has joined the war now on our side so that's okay that's good uh but bruno left the court as a result of his marriage to a landed spouse oh my god uh, uh, Do you mean Bruno, our spy master, uh, and our, uh, per, our our personal champion? Yes. Uh, Lacking Sandy says Guillaume died, so his daughter, Bruno's wife, got land, and Bruno went over to her county. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, okay, hold on. What well, happened? Bruno is married... To Count Renault. Yeah, who was the son of Guillaume. Oh my god. So he took over, and then Bruno fucking left. Our but alliance- he's not even gay. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he just likes him. Maybe they're pals, you know? Um, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, well, so now we need a fucking. Uh, hey, can we just invite him to the court? He might come. Invite to court down, right down to the bottom. It's, it's X, X'd out. He won't. He doesn't want to. Cause he, he Base likes reluctance. Because he's, he's on their council. Ah. Okay, Avamai is our best spy. He's not great. Doctor slash spy. He is good. He's not yeah. great. Bruno is great. Ah, this sucks. Fuck. Okay. All right. Look. Actually, maybe Bruno, Bruno's intrigue might have only been 12. Avamai might actually be better at spy mastering than Bruno. It's our wife who's great. Uh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Where are my knights? Uh, maybe we should go without a personal champion for now, though, because uh, it costs money that we don't have. You're right. You're right. I, the thing that Bruno really had was a very high martial and prowess. Yes. Where they are were, my knights? How do I get to my knights menu? Um, I think oh, it's on. Yeah, it should be here. Oh, yeah, here they there are. There you go. I see. Yeah. All right. He's still the terror in the plains. Is he still our knight? Uh. Possibly. Okay, now here's the goal. Here's a, here's a tertiary goal to keep in our minds. Um, become his liege. Oh, and then, then he comes and fights exactly. with us. Exactly. Oh no, the terror of the plains. Agnes is now the terror of the plains. Okay. Not bad. Oh, actually, pretty bad. Terrible Agnes marshal. Isn't super great. Decent, no. Te terrible marshals. Uh, 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 decent prow. Pretty good prowess. Oh, that's a good. So, Bruno went to be with his husband after his father in law died. And then, in parentheses, in our war, did it say how he died? Can we go look at how he died? Did he die fighting oh, for us? That's a great point. Well, we're besieging this town. Uh, let's see. Um, Bruno. That's the easiest way to do this. Uh, Bruno, then Bruno's husband, then father. Bruno, then Bruno's husband, then the father. He died. He, he was sick. He was sick. Okay, I'm trying to take this. Oh, war score is 91. Oh. Very close. He's very stubborn. Close. He's very stubborn. 
Hey, uh, more better than killing the town, if you can get everyone to go with you. Oh, they're gonna they're about to battle us. Because yeah. this is it for them. They're like, this is it. And we will lose decisively. That's interesting. So do we just bounce? Do it we might just... be wrong. They might it might be lying because of the not counting your allies. Oh, our army needs a general. Hey, can we name a general real quick? Yep, absolutely. It's Ma. No, it's Natalia. It's my wife. It's my wife. Wait. No, she is actually better at this. Okay. Okay, gonna make a quick save here. Whoops. <laughs> See if the tooltip is lying to us. Wait, so is it our mother or our wife? I can't remember. It is our mother. Okay. <laughs> Who should we have? Which which of the two most important women in my world should lead my army? <laughs> I'm so curious to see how this battle's gonna go. Yeah, it says we're gonna lose, but look at the numbers. Yeah, curious. Well, let's find out. I think it wasn't counting our allies because we're not, not only are we winning, we're not, it's not that close. No, we're doing, we're doing well. Personally, I want to capture Duke Berthold. Yeah, that'd be fun. Baldwin won Von Whittles back. Very nice. 100. 100. Beautiful, right. beautiful job. Here's what we're going to do. We gain the contested title. All of our knights gain glory. We gain the county of Sungao, and within it, the bishopric of Porantri and the city of Malouz. We gain 20 fame. My allies share 20 prestige. Duke Berthold, uh, his allies share 20 prestige. He spends 20 prestige. And all his glory hound vassals, there's one of them, lose 20 opinion of Duke Berthold for 10 years. Disapproves of defeat. Greetings, wow. Count Gerhard of Strasbourg. Blessings upon you and your house. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to the bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. And he thinks we're okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because we didn't go to war with him. He inherited this war. Yes. And we are one step closer to being Duke of... Uh, what, Alsace? Well... Alsace, yes. Alsace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful wines from there. Beautiful wines from there. Beautiful oh. wines. So let's check in with what we've got going on up here. Advice County Control. Okay, we, we have County Control right now because our... Um, we just won a war there. So what I'm going to do is I am going to get our Marshal. Yeah. Who is... Her... Oh, she can't increase the control because there are there are no valid targets. It's interesting that the uh, tax here is so low due to low county control. Where is the? Um, oh, here we go. Some okay. of my. Oh, go go ahead with real game stuff. Oh, it is currently occupied, so th this is sort of going to even out as the. Um, War kind of comes to an end. Right. Ooh, social manipulation. The first time it happened, I barely even gave it a moment's thought. But my vassal, Bishop Sophia, has grown bolder. Her challenges no longer pass unnoticed among my vassals. She is testing my limits. The others are sure to follow, unless I give her a little taste of her own medicine. Option one. I will ignore her and steal her ideas. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> it's so childish. <laughs> you guess Sophia is unassertive, lethargic, or unambitious. You gain 50% diplomacy lifestyle. Uh, she's not fooled or she outwits you. All problems will be blamed on her. You guess Sophia is conscientious or at least wants people to think well of her. Uh, we get various things here. A subtle threat of violence will put an end to this. You guess Sophia is cowardly or wants to keep the peace. 
Uh, or how dare you challenge your count? Not very diplomatic, but effective nonetheless. So we are trying it's to- It's great that the game gives us exactly her personality. She's a compassionate absolver who is gregarious and patient and forgiving. So I think a number two, right? Yeah, me too. Or is it number three? Uh, this is cowardly and wants to keep the- Oh, cowardly, peace. but- uh, no, no, I no, think no, she's, no. she's, yeah. Yeah, I think it's all the problems. Wow, she we've fucking hates her. me. She really does. Couldn't, what is it? It's uh, parochial, impatient, short reign, offensive war. Oh, I think she might be the, I think she runs uh, this bishopric down here. Yes, she does. <laughs> she oh, okay. <laughs> so we just kill. we just took over her county. Yes, we did. We did. Yeah, okay. Okay. But a weak hook on her, honestly, would yeah. be lovely. Oh, no. You win this time, Sophia. That cost us 150 prestige. Wow. All right, armies. Goodbye. We now have one prestige. We sure do. <laughs> okay. So we can see here that there's this little... Why, is, why are we still unable to... Why is the... Um... Why is the control still so monumentally low here? Um, I think it's just time. Like, it's only been, you know, a month, two yeah. months. And I've got her increasing the control in that county. But I think we should probably leave it here. After having successfully, uh, successfully won here. Yeah. Uh, we are one step closer. Strasbourg. County I can of Strasbourg. smell... The, the the Dutch. Actually, can we take a look real quick at the um, prerequisites for creating oh, yeah, totally. the title? I think we, we are only one um, we're only one county away from being able to create it. Let's see. Yeah, three de jure counties. We just 250 need gold and 300 prestige. Okay. So we have we have exact numbers for what we need. Yeah. And we can get it next time. And we can maybe. get it. Yeah. Yeah. A stranger is brought before me. She has been waiting outside the castle gates for a week, my liege, my guard informs me. The woman bows deeply. My name is Capitolina, your highness. I have traveled far and wide and seen many things, but I am weary of the road. If you allow me to stay, I will happily share my knowledge of the world with you and be your loyal servant. Embrace God and this will be your home. She becomes my courtier, gains 20 opinion of me, and converts to Catholicism. The more the merrier. Uh, she just comes and joins in. Or we have no room for the likes of you. I think we should uh, say she has to convert, and she joins in. Yeah, why not? Wow, she's a spineless villain. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Hello. <laughs> uh, oh, that's so funny. What do these things say? Ooh, ooh. Okay, right. You can station a man at arms regiment. I'll do that next time. You can appoint a worthy successor. I'll do that next time. You can ransom Count Thierry. Excellent. Yeah. Let's stack... Fuck, they've all gone. Oh, no, there they are. <laughs> we can do that when we begin next time. I'm going to save this as... On. Ow. Wait. Two. Alsace. <laughs> God, we're so close. Speaking of things we're so close to, as we wrap the stream up. Yeah. Uh, Friends of the Table has been, uh, 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 let me pause the game, uh, having a Patreon incentive or a Patreon goal for a while now, which is that when we uh, reach uh, 30,000, we will launch a Hunter Hunter viewing podcast uh, in which we watch through the anime Hunter x Hunter and talk about it with the various combinations of people, including me. Uh, I've never seen it before, and I know nothing about it. And as it stands, we're extremely close to this goal. $559 away. $559 away from the goal. Um, I am so excited about the potential for making this podcast. And if that is something... Yeah, that you're you going to love the show. Do you think? Do, do you think it's going to be something I that I enjoy? <sighs> I actually don't. I actually don't much know your 
like entire history with anime. I know that you haven't watched a lot of shonen. Uh and I I know and here's the thing about shonen, it's so good. It's so easy to watch too and then when it's like also really well done, you know, like it can be really good and fun kind of shut off your brain sort of thing. But then when it's really good, it's like, oh, this is the best stuff in the world. Yes. Um yeah. So yeah, I think that you'll like it. I think you like all the characters. And if you, even if you don't like it right away, uh, you know, I think that it starts a little slow, but it gets good in like five episodes max. Um, uh, I think you, I think you could grow to like it, even if you don't like it initially. I'm jazzed. I'm really stoked. Yeah. Um, yeah. And if you would be interested in supporting that, head over to friendsatthetable.cash to check it out. Is that and else? if we don't get there, Jack will never watch the show, and I'll make sure of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keith will, Keith will uh, every time um, uh, I go to watch it, Keith will knock my computer off my uh, off my desk with a baseball bat. Mm-hmm. Um, a regular-sized one, not the nice ones you get, the nice little ones that you get at no, baseball games. No, in fact, a larger-than-normal one. Yeah. Um, but I will give you a little uh, Sunday in a plastic baseball a helmet. Oh, thank you. That's Have you seen great. those? Yeah. Oh, you yeah. Seen those? Okay. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Dodgers yeah. uh, uh, have a um, fries in a baseball helmet, and also I think nachos, both of which are overpriced but good. And that's what yep. going to the yep. ball game is like. Yep, overpriced but good. Um, God, baseball games used to be really cheap to go to. Um, they really exploded. Like we used to go to Red Sox games all the time, and it was like. 40 bucks for a ticket. It was like really not that very expensive at all. Well, so um, or less, you know, I'm like moving, 25 bucks. Uh to the Midwest ish. Uh moving to Michigan uh later this year and the Tigers uh seats to see the Tigers play are enjoyably cheap. Um Oh like yeah. $20, yeah, 13 to $20. Uh which is great. Yeah. If you like baseball. Yeah. I do like baseball. I don't care for the Tigers though. So. Uh, I, I, I had the privilege of moving to a country, so getting to choose which team I supported. Um, yeah. and, uh, with all the, the predictable caveats, I would say I am a Dodgers fan. I know this is like saying, it's like picking the most powerful people and being like, I'm with them. Um, yeah. in the place you were living, though, in the place so that I'm living, counts. but I am excited to see what the Tigers are like. Uh, I hope that their city connect jerseys are good. Um, I, uh, I've always had, uh, four teams that I've liked four baseball teams, the Red Sox. Cause I'm from there, the Cubs, because when I was a kid, my best friend liked the Cubs and always wore a Cubs hat. So I've always liked the Cubs as like my number two team, the Mets, because I hated the Yankees because of the Red Sox. Sure. And I always thought that the Mets were sort of like the New York Red Sox. Uh, and, uh, you know, really good usually, but also classically losing and <laughs> underdogs who hated the Yankees. So I've always identified yes. with the Mets deeply and, uh, the Blue Jays because I like the bird. Yeah. 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 I also like the bird. It's like yeah. a, like a blue crow. Yeah. Like a, like a, like a, la like a dumber blue crow. Well, we have been friends at the table. We will return to the Holy Roman Empire at some point. Start putting Alsace together. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you, Keith, for, for playing. This has been great. Yeah, of course. I love it. All right. Talk soon. Bye. Bye.